Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome. Super Mario a Galaxy. Welcome to You Are Mr. Gay. Wait, what? <laughs> what? what? You never... Here, look. Look, you see the sparkles? Uh-huh. On the letters? Yeah. Look, you. Are you. And then... The next one is you R. Are. And then the R in the next one with the M, Mr. Mr. K. And G A Y. Oh my God! What? You are Mr. Gay. That was not intentional, <laughs> was it? And then in Super Mario Galaxy Two, if you look at the sparkles backwards, then it's Yeah, I am. Are you? What? <laughs> Whoa! Oh my God, Mario! I had no idea. <laughs> All right, we're playing this game. I'm sure everyone's so excited, but yeah, whatever. I'm super excited. Are you excited? We have had hundreds of thousands of requests is for that this. Barry? Yeah, it looks like Barry. This is me. Yeah, I think this was me. And You've played Barry. this before? <laughs> no. Uh, I'll be Mr. Tiny Face. No, don't be Mr. Ti Mr. Tiny Face. Creeps me out, be man. You. That's me. It could be Jin again. <laughs> <laughs> why, why don't we just be ourselves? Well, it's it's only one face, oh. so you have to choose wisely. I like that we have the same shit-eating smirk, <laughs> you oh, and yeah. me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, you. baby. Oh, okay, cool. <gasps> Every hundred oh, years, right. a comet appears in the sky. <laughs> By the way, I'm thinking of renaming my groin area the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> that has a nice ring to it. Yeah. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. Cool. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of Mushroom Kingdom. Why wasn't it happy? Fucking taxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Okay, get to the part why it wasn't a happy time. <laughs> Damn, hey. baby. Something you'd like to give me! Yay! Oh. Peach! I was thinking of traversing your mushroom kingdom. <laughs> I'm gonna get a blowjob! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Yippee! That is wonderful. Alright, so I'm Mario. Okay, terrific. Can, okay, so here's here's your deal, right? Okay, yeah, tell me. So if I point my thing at the screen, I uh -huh. get a little cursor, uh -huh. and I can collect the star bits. They're floating around, see? Right. Oh, okay. But you can do the same thing. Oh, great! So you can just collect those star bits. Do I have to push a button? No, you just run the star over it and then you collect them. Oh, see? this game is wonderfully easy! <laughs> it's disturbing to see that toad with a spear, <laughs> by the oh, way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like army toad. Oh, damn. Everybody, march! Harum, bum, 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 bum. They start spearing their enemies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fucking Nine Inch Nails theme from 300 starts playing. <laughs> oh, what was it? It was like a wow, bam, bam. No, that was Pacific Rim. It's dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Nice airship. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> it's no Final Fantasy. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking Bowser's airships. So. Oh shit. Yeah. Thanks for complimenting my enemy. Sorry. Mortal enemy. Oh. Whoa. This took a fucking really serious turn. Yeah, that's why they got the spears. Now they're like, fight! Launch the cannons! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> you see like limbs flying oh, everywhere. Oh god. <laughs> we won't let those fuckers take this <laughs> land. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get in their like jet fighters and they're like, Launch the nukes! <laughs> God damn. And there's like, and, and there's like the scene with the, the toad and his like intestines are falling yeah. out. He's like, <laughs> No, toad! Go on without me, toad! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I won't let your intestines fall out anymore, toad! This got really serious. Oh, he doesn't, oh shit, he doesn't, he doesn't have a voice. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they retconned that when Super Mario Galaxy or er, uh, Sunshine. Interesting. When he was like, Yo, I'm Bowser, what's up? Yeah, how you fucking doing? <laughs> you want a pizza pie? Cause this festival is over as shit. Yo, I got a UFO on my side. Aliens and whatnot. Let's look at her low texture. Yeah, eyeball. did it just do the fucking like. Classic like movie trailer thing like that. 
and then like total silence. <laughs> oh, I don't have my spin attack yet. Uh, but yes, it totally did that. Wow. Yeah, this is very. Uh, it's been significantly more bloodshed. Yeah, it's fucking dark, right? But it's, I walked <laughs> yes. slow on the. It's so funny. There's death and destruction all around, and Mario's just like, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> just for this moment, you should be like, oh shit! <laughs> that UFO has three nipples. Yeah, what about it? I don't know. Oh no! My star plushie! <laughs> yeah, Please, no! Right? I got it from Anime X Princess Peach, put down the fucking toy and run! No, I want it from a claw machine! I'll never get it again! I'm gonna give it to my friend Mario! <laughs> yeah, you're gonna give it to him. Yeah. And then he's gonna enjoy it, and then you guys will continue to be friends. Yeah, that's about right. And this then, seems like a fucking very convoluted way to kidnap a princess. Yeah, he he pretty much could have just grabbed her. Yeah. Or like taken her little plushie and then been like, "You want it? Come and get yeah, it." Yeah, fucking. Hmm. I somehow I don't remember this UFO. I don't. When I first played it. I can't hear you, princess. You are in space. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your flight. Jesus, does anyone fucking speak words anymore? Mario says wahoo every so often. Yeah, right? Everyone else is just like, I <laughs> He's just dead. He's straight up dead. This is the most fucked up Mario I've ever seen. This is like the first ten minutes of Up! <laughs> <laughs> Mario! It's like traumatizing children left and right. She gets just gets like chained into like one of those torture devices that like pulls your limbs in different yeah, directions. Yeah. She's like, Mario! And he's like, woohoo! Mario. You're in the afterlife. You perished in the flames. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Um... Yeah. Alright. I'm not really in the mood. Yeah, you like run away, you're like, fuck you, and then you run around the entire planet and you see him again, you're like, damn it! <laughs> I mean, considering what just happened... Like... Yeah. Kind of a dick move to be like, come play with me! Yeah. <laughs> like, It'll help you take off your mind off your dead love! <laughs> yeah. Oh, no! You caught me! You better not do stuff to my bunny butt! <laughs> I've already got uh -oh. pee, pee all over my ears! <laughs> Wouldn't want it to cover my whole body! <laughs> oh, no! Not so fast, fucker! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Why you put me on this planet?! Oh. Where's the peach?! <laughs> 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 Yippee! <laughs> Come here, come here, come here. Oh, I'm definitely gonna barf. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, get uh, used to it. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Got, Got him. him. I can't believe I let myself get- <laughs> Oh, I can't yeah. believe I let myself get- This is get the worst, cut. I'm all wriggly and oiled. <laughs> <laughs> well, you cut all of us? Maybe you can really help Mama. Mama? Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Peach, it's a disgusting rabbit monster. Wow, it's so beautiful. It looks just like it. my- it looks like just like his father. Yeah. It's just a big rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Told you not to fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that, um, Daisy? No, it's Rosalina. That, that's what I meant, sorry. I got my- my ancillary girl Mario characters <laughs> confused. I've been watching you from here- I love Rosalina. Yeah, she's pretty. I mean, she's- you know. It's like, they don't give any of these characters personality, but... In terms of her design, yeah, she's great. She's hot stuff. Hi, my name's Luma. I'm a little star guy. I'm all oiled up. Yeah. For whoever. Whoa, pleasure. damn! He's inside me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect this. Disaster has struck us. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Really mellow way to put that. May the star shine down at you. St shine down. Yeah. I love that band. Me too. Who doesn't? Goodbye. <laughs> if she can just ev eviscerate like that, I don't know if that's the right word. Evaporate? If she can just evaporate like yeah, that. Yeah, eviscerate means to gut something. Alright then, that's probably poor choice of words. <laughs> so now I have my spinny spin. I can go in here and spinny and fly to another planet. Through the cold, heartless uh, yeah. space. Boy, even in Mario Town, space is like pretty and blue and yeah. purple. No, it's a cold black void. It's like DOS. <laughs> <laughs> it's the beginning of everything. Yeah. Where do I write C comma colon slash dash? Whoa. I gotta get all the star bits. Oh, there's a there's a green Goomba for some oh. reason. 
Star bits? Oh, I'm sorry, like the little pieces of this star. Oh, all right. <laughs> I like quietly like I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> oh. So these stars don't have names, right? What the little stars? Yeah. Uh, the little star people? Yeah. They're called Lumas. Lumas? Yeah. Okay. As far as I remember. Maybe that one is called Luma, but I'm pretty sure the whole race of them is called Lumas. I'm just gonna give them weird nicknames. Okay. Like, uh, Cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> cornbread is a nickname that you cannot fucking, like, be taken seriously if you have. Oh, sure. Like, in 1812, the slaves were finally freed by Abraham Cornbread Lincoln. <laughs> America mourns the day in 1963 when President John Fitzgerald Cornbread Kennedy was assassinated. <laughs> cornbread Kennedy. You know that cornbread boy? I don't know if he's if he's ready to become president. Oh. On account of his name is Cornbread. Quickly, down here! You got it, Cornbread. Stop calling me that! <laughs> That's not actually my name. It's not nickname. anybody's name. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> There's just like a bunch of them and they yeah. start coming at you. Now you're in here with us. Got the big star. What do you think of that? My first grand star, as they say. I fucking love it. Yay! I did it! Oh, yes! <laughs> what do you think of that, bitch? Just, <laughs> just his face, man. Well, I'm glad he's, someone's happy. Because that star has a stoic as fuck look on his face. Yeah. And Mario's like, I'm dancing with my new friend! And the other star's like, kill me. Yeah, um... Kill me. How do you know we're friends? I have no mouth or eyebrows. Yeah. If I wanted to emote, I couldn't. Yay, the burning ball in the center of this world. And so your new friend, the Grand Star, was sucked into the fireball forever. <laughs> yeah. He perished immediately. <laughs> Credits roll. You, <laughs> <laughs> you mourn the loss of your friend just as you mourn the loss of your princess and your kingdom. With a heartfelt ha-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> and a yippee. Yippee! Maybe only as bright as a class six star, but oh, at least geez. the poor Lumas will survive now. Thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. Let me give you something more than fucking cake. Yeah, seriously. I'm gonna give you, um, ultimate power. Yeah. Uh, the ability to breathe in space. Yeah. Um, an entire space kingdom. How about that? And a legion of star people at your command. Can I do anything for you? Uh, much better than Princess Peach, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I leave her immediately! <laughs> She's gone anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I love ha you. <laughs> You're the girl for yip me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me unbuckle your bra. <laughs> <laughs> unbuckle. Yeah. This that, thing that's is what you confusing. Do, right? <laughs> yeah. Please go to the terrace and try to recover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah blah blah. Got plot it. plot plot. I'm chocolate. <laughs> Eat me. I'm delicious. Mm. But, but don't, it hurts. <laughs> the, the yellow one's like, I don't trust that brown one! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell if he was really tiny flying right in front of Mario's face, or if he was like way in the distance. Yeah. I, I have that problem all the time. Do you? Well, yeah. That must have that must be a huge problem when you're driving. Yeah, I'm like, THESE STARS ARE EVERYWHERE! <laughs> <laughs> GET HIM AWAY! <laughs> Just trying to bat him away like gnats. I told you, uh... That my mom has, uh, video footage of me when I was, like, two years old. Um, I'd be in my driveway, looking up at the moon, and trying to, like, grab it. And I'd be like, I can get it! And then I'd jump, like, half an inch off the <laughs> ground. And my mom was like, <laughs> almost! <laughs> 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 what if you just, like, did grab it and it disappeared from the sky, and then yeah. your mom was like, What?! What? Yeah. And you and open it, your hand and it's there. Yeah, and she realizes I'm like a demon baby and the <laughs> choir starts off like <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like the omen. <laughs> and then like the the rocks start to rise from the ground, you know? <laughs> and you're like and you're like, I got it, mom! I got it. Yeah. I can now speak in full sentences. <laughs> I'm two years old, but I'm like <laughs> Mother, the blood I'm of Christ compels me. <laughs> You don't pee out your ass? Hey, oh, babies. It's a good egg galaxy. Yeah, it's so good. What? What now? What now? <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna jump on his head. That's what now. Yeah, my, um... Don't test me. I'm a <laughs> fucking plumber. Oh, uh, my mom 
the good egg galaxy reminded me. My mom uh, is, is a teacher uh, of young children. Yeah. And uh, I guess there's like one British kid in his class named Charlie. And the mom, his mom every day, like when she drops him off at school, uh, is like, Charlie, be a good egg. Be a good egg at school. Really? Yeah. How cute is that? That's adorable. I know. So like every now and then my mom will be like, uh, like when I'm leaving for California, I'll go visit her. And, and uh, as I'm leaving, she'll be like, bye, Dan, be a good egg. I'm like, <laughs> no! <laughs> I won't listen to Don't you. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, I'm almost 50. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you don't know anything! Ugh. How long have you been around? Oh. Ugh. Hi -ya. Oh, well, oh, 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 okay, how about, how about okay. I just, how about I just yeah, leave maybe that, don't do this. Leave that business alone. Yeah. That is not a business that I'm willing to invest in. Yay! And now I'm on the, the like, mm, mm. planet. <laughs> mm. oh. All right, I got a honeybee. Stupid. Oh, you look delightful. I'm Bee Mario. All Let's find out. All I can say is that my life <laughs> is pretty plain. I like watching the puddles gather rain. All right, next time on Game Grumps. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it does. Can you guess? Are you gonna read a book to stay awake? And it rips my life away, but, but it's, it's a, a great, great escape. 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 All right, see ya. I love this fucking dude breakdancing over here on the fucking. Oh, set. oh yeah, jeez. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mario. Hi. Yeah. Hey. Man, um, you are strong. I will come back later. Jesus, look at look look at. Yeah, that is all in the wrist. Wow. Impressive. Yeah. Why, why is he like rolling with this crew? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You're way cooler. <laughs> what are you doing hanging out with these herbs? <laughs> these herbs. <laughs> <laughs> what is a herb? Or, I don't know. Is this a Jersey term? <laughs> really? Yeah. Like a loser. <laughs> Look at these herbs. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they say it anymore, but in the 90s, that was, uh... Look at these herbs. <laughs> uh, Mario. Your name is Mario. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Mario secretly had a crush on her for months, and he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. It has such a nice ring. I'll give you a ring. Ring, ring. You're my girlfriend. <laughs> It's a promise ring. I promise to never stop stalking you. What if this whole game was like a Mario's like, uh, like concussion dream? I it, and it seems like it doesn't. Peach, it? You know? Oh man! And she's like, Mario, your name is Mario, right? And you're like, Yes, of course. But like, that's what she's saying to you on the outside. Oh. Like Mario, your name is Mario, and he's like, eh, Stop. I love you, Rosalina. She's like, What? <laughs> Yeah, who is Rosalina? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's you. You're Rosalina. Oh, that's another thing Rosalina. that's never happened to me. Thank God, calling someone the wrong name in bed. Oh yeah, that's got to be the worst. I've really only had one girlfriend my whole life. That's so a lucky break. Never been a problem. It just it gives you really no excuse. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, oh, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Batman? Oh yeah, I do like it. <laughs> I like it a lot, Aaron. Show me what it is. Show me the signal. I'm gonna pull out my dick, Batman. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> Show me the signal! Show me the bat signal! What the fuck? What, did it just talk to you through the Wiimote? No, Siri just talked to me because apparently I act as... <laughs> what? What just happened? I gotta take a screenshot of this. Okay. Apparently... I s I accidentally butt dialed Siri and said, "Cool." <laughs> oh, stop! And then she responded, "You're sort of cool yourself, Aaron." Oh, thanks for calling me sort of cool. That's nice of her. It's I mean it's like sort of nice. Siri. Siri can be kind of a 
I don't know, she's a little snarky sometimes. She's, she's sassy. I heard one of the updates actually, like, downgraded her snark. Really? Yeah. Because some people didn't appreciate it? Yeah, like, she was a little too snarky, and then- Because I think for a while, if you said, call me an ambulance, mm -hmm. she would say, like, alright, now you're an ambulance. Yeah, meanwhile, you're dying. Yeah. <laughs> when Brian and I travel, we like to sit there and come up with, like, really stupid characters. That are like their premise is too dumb to even like make a song or anything about. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of them was uh, a Chinese doctor um, with the last name H U. Uh, <laughs> so it's like who? And then like everyone's always like, Hey Doctor Who, where's your TARDIS? And he's like, I'm not that Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like super pissed off all the time. <laughs> I'm not a Doctor Who. <laughs> but that is his only. I am just Doctor Who. That is his only function as a character. There's like nothing else remarkable about him. <laughs> what if he was a really big Doctor Who fan and he's like, it's he's the Doctor, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not Doctor Who. <laughs> Jesus, fucking, what are you, an idiot? It's just something about. Anyway, your pancreas is bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. By the way, I looked at your appendix and whoo! You want to talk about whoo! <laughs> More like who's gonna die? <laughs> oh. Got oh. you right in the face and you mm -hmm. shoot some fucking star bits right in your stupid nozzle. Does that feel amazingly good? I bet it, I bet it feels like he's getting waterboarded. <laughs> oh, shoot star bits up in his nose. Can you tell the story of Ross waterboarding himself? <laughs> yeah, what a dick. <laughs> what a dick. Wait, wait, we, already, we did that on the show, didn't we? No, I think, we talk, I think we talked about it off camera. Okay, well... Well, yeah. in case we did... Sorry if we mentioned this on Sonic. <laughs> we, uh... We were during the stream and Ross... Fucking... He, he was, like, getting loopy, so he, like, poured some water on him to wake himself up or whatever. And he was laying down on his back. <laughs> so he like poured water on his face and then he was like <laughs> 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 He was like, Ugh! What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> like bewildered that what it the fucking... fuck water and gravity? <laughs> and you two was... teaming up on me? And I was like, Ross, you literally just waterboarded yourself. <laughs> that's that's a form of torture. <laughs> That's done to like military people he, and they uh, get captured overseas. He is uh Ross is one of those people, like, I may know him for the rest of my life, and I'll never be able to properly explain what he's about to other people who haven't met him. He's just fucking Ross. Yeah. He's the sweetest guy, um, but he also has a reckless disregard for human satisfaction or He's just anything. a paradox in every way. Yeah. Do you have a friend that, like, just texts random fucking stupid shit to you? I mean, besides me. Yes. J but, like, just out of nowhere, and you can never get a straight answer from him with anything? Yes. Cool. Why? I- just cause I've been getting that all day. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking get in touch with my friend Mark, and he's like... <laughs> the fuck did he say? I mean, this might be an internet thing that I've just never heard of, but like, he just weird, random shit that never answers the question. I'm like... Hey dude, do you wanna get dinner tonight? And his response was... It's weird that pirates would go from shore to shore looking for buried treasure when the real treasure was in the friendships they made. <laughs> like, fucking answer the question! I need to make plans! If you care so much about fucking pirate friendships, why don't you maintain this one? I mean... <laughs> That's how I should have responded. But I'm so I'm so demoralized from years of this. I'm just like, so seven? Are you free at seven? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a shame. Yeah, he's he's a funny dude. Yeah, I'm hesitating to figure out if I should. Eh, whatever. What's that? Uh, so You're thinking about saying something? Yeah, I just I I, I don't know want to become become a thing. You you want to whisper it to me? No, I'll just say it. Okay, it, it's up to me. My discrepancy, so. Cool. Um, I got a text from a wrong number. I think you meant discretion, but. Yeah, my discretion. It's okay. Uh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna fall off. Oh, no, I'm okay. Guess I'll walk off. I got a text from a wrong number. Okay. Uh, a, a while back. And, uh, fuck. <laughs> Probably shouldn't tell stories while I'm playing this <laughs> that was really arduous good. level in Mario Galaxy. That was really good. I got a text from a wrong number <laughs> a while back. Damn it. And he was just like, hey, I want to chat. And I was like, sorry, wrong number. 
Uh, and he was like, oh, that's a shame. And I was like, yeah, no worries about it. And I sent him like a goofy image. Right. And then he was like, huh, so what are you up to, man? <laughs> what? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just kind of like, uh, nothing, man. And he's yeah. like, cool. And I'm like, what about you? Like, for some <laughs> reason, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna keep this conversation going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we had a really nice conversation. That's funny. Um, and I just, I don't know, I w it was like reckless abandon. I was like, cool. And he was like, well, I made a new friend. Sweet. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of nice and wholesome. Cool. But now it's like every day. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, <sighs> oh, that's not okay. <laughs> yeah. That's so, not okay. He's like, how you doing, man? And I'm like, uh... I don't... Yeah. That's just kind of a one-time thing, dude. D yeah, it w <laughs> I, I, that happened to me once, like, uh... Uh, a girl, uh, like, texted me with the wrong number. And it was, like, some personal shit, too. So, like, I made some kind of joke about it. And she was super cool. There was something about, like, her response. It was very simple, but, like, you could immediately tell, like, Oh, this is a cool person, you know? Yeah. And, uh, I was just like... There's, I kind of want to keep talking to her, you know, like just yeah. to see what happens. But I, you know, you got to let that go because much like every fucking phone sex hotline you call, you're like, I bet this girl's gorgeous and as amazing as I'm imagining, but yeah. probably not, you know? So <laughs> yeah. it's like you just got to, just got to let it go. Yeah. Plus it was like, plus the conversations like kept getting like really jokey and like it wasn't, yeah, you know, like n no progress was being made. That's that's why it reminded me of it because it was just it was just constantly like whoa, 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 jokes about this, jokes about that, and right. I was like, all right, well, <laughs> well, yep, I don't know who you are, <laughs> yeah. so gonna um, head on out. So yeah, that was a good time. Uh, moral of the story: d d Don't. Even though it seems like it's gonna be fun, don't yeah. fucking yeah. Don't engage strangers. Just be like wrong number. Yeah. <laughs> the end. Sorry. What was that thing you said to Barry? Was sorry wrong number? Do you remember? I think you sent it to all of us. Oh, yeah. No, I don't remember what I said. Oh, shit, I don't either. It was, it was like- it, it was very inappropriate. Yeah, it was like super raunchy and like, <laughs> oh man, let me lick that pussy. Sorry, wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> and like a work chain. <laughs> Where you're like trying to organize something really important. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we'll use it to search for power stars. All right, cool. And we, the members of the Toad Brigade, will be the brave crew. And Mario's just like, yeah. My eyes! <laughs> <laughs> Do you have maybe like a dimmer function on that? Or like an off switch? Yeah. It is just like full blast minor. That is used for caves. <laughs> it's illuminating the caverns that are my eyeballs. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh goodness. Like, oh, I died. Oh, you fucking. I, I had think goddamn I, bad. I've got to stomp on them. I think. The, the the mushrooms. Yeah. Do you fucking think? Well, they're wearing helmets. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to. I didn't mean to get salty with you, but like, I just never dreamed I might have to step on a Goomba. <laughs> well, I didn't know they were. They were I thought helmets. I was supposed to negotiate with them. <laughs> Dan, they're wearing helmets. <laughs> if you have the flower, then you downgrade to the mushroom, and then if you have the mushroom, you downgrade to small Mario. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so there's the three tiers of Mario, uh, which were also used to create a hellish concoction. <laughs> Don't ever. Talk about my three tears! <laughs> yes. The three tears of Mario. Used to create the potion that resurrects Jesus. You will never see them! <laughs> I will never show my emotions! I'll just get sucked up into this giant <laughs> butthole anemone thing. Okay. Okay. They knew what they were doing there. There's no way they didn't. Woo. Wow, boy, oh boy. Oh, yeah, I saw that and was immediately like, if Dan doesn't make a butthole thing... Th then, uh, truly, I should be fired. <laughs> I remember I used to wear... I've always worn skinny jeans. Um, and they were not fashionable in, uh... Wait, they always existed? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I thought that was like a recent thing. No, 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 I mean, they've always been there. They've been around since like the 70s. But just like, they went out of fashionable style. Um... And all the, all the more ghetto kids in my school used to refer to the pants I'd wear as booty chokers. 
booty chokers. <laughs> Yo, look at Danny and the booty chokers. And I'd be like, <laughs> just, just stop looking at my butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, if somebody was like, look at the booty chokers, you'd be like, hell yeah, check out this butt. Oh, now? Are you kidding me? Fuck yeah. Fucking, uh, these pants, like, uh, there is no blood God. flow oh. going from my waist to down. My penis cannot get erect. That's not true. Don't take it that It just has to use the- <laughs> I mean, when I'm wearing those pants. Kevin, do me a favor. Take the soundbite of Aaron saying my penis cannot <laughs> get erect and repeat it randomly throughout this episode <laughs> from this point on. We were just talking about- Start it right now. My penis cannot get erect. Yeah! Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, it's good. I'm talking about fucking black eggs. <laughs> Ninja stars. I'm just like, my penis cannot get erect. <laughs> Have you ever seen three ninjas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put it in all sorts of weird places. Like I was hanging out with my grandma the other day. My penis cannot get erect. <laughs> she made me some cookies. <laughs> oh, they were good. Dude, you're gonna fucking maybe do this. Of course I will. Unless you blow it right here. I'm not gonna blow it. You Why might blow it. Why would I do that? I don't know. Like if someone came in and made you like. Jump a lot. God damn oh, it. Oh, guess what? You can't do it anymore because I already did it. Didn't blow it. Oh, shit. Great. If by blow it, you mean blow my dick by a hot lady. <laughs> <laughs> Good save. Damn. My penis cannot get erect. Job, shit, man. look at that star. It's, I still am timed. It's like oh, yeah. <laughs> two seconds. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're just admiring your handiwork for 55 seconds. <laughs> Dan, what was the first thing that you ever did in school that you can remember? Oh, the first thing I can. It, well, it's not a proud moment. I remember in nursery school, when my mom dropped me off, uh... I told this story on Game Grumps, it's not really a story. Uh, it was the first time I had ever been, like, separated from my mom, that mm -hmm. I could remember. And, uh, I went, uh, and cried behind the piano. That, that was my first act in school, to fucking cry in despair. And it was a theme that repeated itself throughout my entire fucking 26 years of education. I'm sorry, what did you say? Nothing. It was only 22 years I didn't get a master's degree. What? Yeah, hard to believe. What the hell happened? I don't know, didn't feel like learning anymore. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is full! Uh, I'm done. Whoa! <laughs> I'm just gonna go home. Alright, since we're in the, uh, the supple month of July... Right. Uh, Maybe not when this airs, though. It might be August. Oh, sure. Since we're in the supple month of... August. <laughs> Kevin, just go ahead and fill that in. I didn't say August, but now I did. But you can just use Dan's August. <laughs> um... <laughs> now that we're the supple month of August. <laughs> um... Now that we're- whatever. Go ahead. Uh, Christmas is on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, fucking CVS? It's like fucking March 4th and they're like, well, time to bust out, fucking it's a holly jolly Christmas. Sure. Yep. Um, what do you want for Christmas, Dan? Me? Yeah. <laughs> to not be Jewish. That's a good one. <laughs> it's, it's the saddest answer possible. I've heard that one all the time. I, uh, I don't know. I... I have a lot. Uh, your friendship, I guess. Whatever. Aw, that's nice. Yeah. Fucking whatever. Well... Why do you ask? Because I'm- I already know- I've already gotten you stuff, so... Are you serious for yeah, Christmas? Yeah, 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 you're just gonna have to deal with it. Holy shit, that's I was just, awesome! I was just hoping it would, like... It's like throwing a dart at a fucking big thing. Uh huh. And then you act, and then you hit the thing that I wanted you to hit. Well, you know, there's only like five things I love in this world. Okay. Rush, Stegosaurus, the New York Giants, uh, the Last Unicorn, and some other shit that I can't think of right now. Probably Lord of the Rings, aliens. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, that that would be the miscellaneous fifth category. So, here's what I got you. Mm hmm. Um. Applesauce, because I know that you like apples, but don't enjoy chewing. <laughs> when was this established? <laughs> okay. The second thing I got you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a top, because I know you're way into dreidel, but tops are just, <laughs> they're just better. Yeah, I know you're way into dreidels. And the third thing I got you, which uh -huh. is the last thing, uh -huh. um, is a copy of About a Boy on Blu-ray. Just because, I mean, it's just an underrated movie, it's really good. Is that- wait, is that the one with Andy Samberg and Adam Sandler? I believe it's with Hugh Grant. Oh! I mean, I haven't seen it. So, to recap... <laughs> 
for Christmas <laughs> in August. Yes. You got me apples. No, no, no. It's it's Christmas in when Christmas happens. Yeah, but I mean like we're in August or July whenever this goes up. Right, but it's never too early to get presents for your beloved. Right. And the, well, thank you very much. I'm flattered by that you'd say that, but like uh so f this summer for Christmas you got me applesauce uh, a non-denominational uh, spinny top. Yes. And it, a, it's just a regular top. A Blu-ray of a Hugh Grant movie. You don't have to. Thank me. You just don't, yet. <laughs> you don't have to <laughs> deliberate that it's a non-denominational spinny top. Okay. Tops in general are non-denominational. What the fuck are you, to Aaron? What? What has been the meaning of any of this? Dreidels are the ones that that made specific things. Hold on, I gotta get to this thing. Okay. And then I gotta think about what I'm gonna say. All right. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, yes, hold on. I Different parts of my brain are competing. You <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I got you a Hugh Grant movie. What's wrong with that? It's, Nothing. It's one of the most underrated classics of the '90s. I, I think. I love Hugh Grant. And after he got busted picking up a hooker, I loved him twice as much. Not only that, but he got busted picking up a hooker while he was dating, uh, the girl. Oh, really? That's not as cool then. Oh my god, did you fucking... What? <laughs> um... My friend, uh... Cassidy posted, uh, something, uh... Fuck. That... It, it's like a... <laughs> it's like a picture. You know what? Kevin, just put it up. And, uh, alright, there you go. And, uh, Aaron hasn't seen it yet. But it's a- it's like a yearbook picture of like a little Chinese kid whose actual name is Damn Son. <laughs> <laughs> And he's just got this look on his face like, oh, shit. <laughs> like he just then realized what his name it, was? It, it's just such- it's so perfect. <laughs> Damn, son. Hold on, I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna do my taxes. <laughs> Alright, get it. Get it, get it, get the picture. Dan is away from the microphone, at his phone, his actual phone, not the microphone. <laughs> which I never thought of now. Whoa. Whoa. If you had a tiny phone, it would be a microphone. Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I just showed Aaron the damn son. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fucking face. It's just like, <laughs> damn <"Whoa."> son. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I love him. Oh and god. I'm sure his parents do too. I want to party with him. Didn't we have another like yearbook thing like that? Shit. I don't know, there's been a lot of those lately. We've had so much stuff like that. With like, people who are like, I- I see, secretly put fuck you into my yearbook quote, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, alright. I know we've talked about this before, but there was that, uh, really, like, clever, uh, Asian girl who, like, um, she just looks like a very smart, like, nerdy girl, you know? So, like, no one thought anything of it, but, um, uh, she, like, uh, she just- her yearbook quote was just a ton of, like, um, periodic elements, um, by their full names, and then when you, like, use the, uh, little abbreviations, it actually, uh, says, get bitches, get money. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fuck bitches, get money. That might be it, too. Even better. <laughs> uh -oh. Man, you knew that story and you just let me flounder like that for, like, five minutes? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You're like, oh, do tell. I'm not gonna interrupt your set. That's like the douchiest thing when you're like, oh man, like you're so excited to tell a story. You're like, oh man, dude, I saw this thing and it was like, it was so cool. And then they're like, yeah, I know that thing. It was like this and this. And oh, then they yeah. just like ruin it completely. Yeah. And it's like yeah. not as funny as you were gonna make it. That's a Brian move. Brian <laughs> loves stealing your punchlines. Nice. Yeah, but like waiting to the last minute. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, waiting. like I, 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 it was a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That was a dog. Uh, Whoa, look at this. Uh, Damn, son! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kevin, I hope you threw his face across the uh, screen when I said that. <laughs> that poor kid. Or awesome kid. Yeah, he's- he's gonna grow up and be very happy with his life. Yeah, he's gonna- he's probably gonna be like... Totally not the guy that would like say that or be around people that say that. Mm-hmm. But then they'll ironically say that to him, and then when somebody actually says it to him, he'll be like, ha, ha, like they're making a joke, but they actually are saying it. Oh, sure. And then he- <laughs> I don't know where the story's going, but- 
<laughs> I'd steal the punchline from you, but I don't think there is one. I don't think I've ever seen a George Clooney film. Really? Yeah. You've I'm, I'm never seen to think um, of one. He was in Gravity. Never. Oh yeah, I saw Gravity. He's very good in that. Oh, you know what? I saw him as Batman. Oh, his finest moment. Yeah. That was actually a great film. Joel Schumacher is a wizard at Batman films. Yeah, he's a ruiner of dreams. I really wish that Chris Nolan would just take a take a page out of that Schumacher book. Yeah, we'll just hand hand the the trophy back to Schumacher cuz man, <laughs> you know, Dark Knight Rises, pff, forget it, man. You didn't like that one, right? <laughs> Didn't like is very, uh, very harsh. Okay. I would say, I loved it. Really? But I, I, I don't I think it it's too. a good movie. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I liked it for all of the not reasons that it was, that everyone else liked it for, though. <laughs> because I think that movie's hilarious. It's really funny. Um, especially just like, just Bane in general. Mm-hmm. Because everyone's like, oh, it jokes about how uh, his voice is, is, is hard to hear. Like, oh, I do a brain impression. <laughs> but like, oh my god. Just the fucking scene where he's, uh, what's it, it's like a banker or like a, a politician. And he like is, is like threatening them. Mm -hmm. And it, it, that scene is just hilarious because he's like, he's like, what do you, what do you think you're going to do to this city? What is it you really want, Bane? And Bane's like, I want to do it because it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what? Say that again? And he's like, no way, Bane. And he's like, yes, that's a fucking man. And you just can't understand what he's saying? No! Oh, not man. at all! That is so- I gotta watch it again. If you- it, like, if- if you hear it in context, like, maybe... Right, right, it makes sense. But if you just s play somebody, like... The scene. He's out oh, taking into the city. <laughs> <laughs> You're like what? <sighs> and it just and it sounds like the way that they mixed his voice. This is this is like one percent of why I think this film is funny. Okay. Um, if, if, if they just like mixed his voice in like he's like a voice like he's like he's an announcer at a football game. Mm. Like everyone else is like in the room like, oh I'll I'll get you Batman and then he's like. Yes, Batman will be getting indeed. <laughs> okay, gotcha. It's really funny. Oh, you you and I should sit down. Fuck. Have you seen The Dark Knight Rises? I have. We should watch it again because I don't think Ross has seen it. Oh. And I'm and I'm and I'm trying to explain to him why it's hilarious. It's, you know, like people have pointed out that there's a lot of like weird things that happen and that don't make any sense. Yes. And like I do, I do remember one moment. Where I was like, where he's like in a desert somewhere in the Middle East or something like that. Batman? But yes. Yeah. And then like he gets to New York. Nah. No, but the, Dan, but that doesn't matter. All that matters is that he got there, Dan. Right, but he got there in like 10 minutes. <laughs> and like, it's like w the city's walled off. <laughs> so like no one can get in or out, but he's just there. But he's Batman. Oh, God, Dan. Suspension of disbelief, no, please. Oh, believe me, I love the movie. I was like, but that was the one moment where I was like, how did he get- ah, uh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> or like when Bane had like a letter from Commissioner Gordon and it was like, I'm the villain and nobody should trust me in anything that I do, but here's a letter I have from Commissioner Gordon <laughs> with no proof that it's from him and he said, oh jeez, I did it all! And everyone's like, oh my god, did he really say that? <laughs> I don't know if I can trust Commissioner Gordon anymore if he wrote that on a piece of paper that's being written to me by- by the villain. Oh my god, that's fucking funny. Yeah, I- I can't remember. I can't remember. The, the whole movie's full of that shit. Yeah. And I absolutely love it. Well, like... I could watch The Dark Knight Rises like 700 times. <laughs> Did you like it more than, uh, The Dark Knight? The Dark Knight was hilarious, but had less, like... Plot destroying bits. Oh, dude, I I mean, I genuinely adore The Dark Knight. I think it's one of the coolest movies I've ever seen. It's got, it's 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 a very well directed film. It's yeah, it's fucking intense. I, I think, um, but in terms of like, yeah, I don't know, like, I didn't think the Joker was super interesting. Or, really? Yeah. Wow, I thought he was one of the best uh, movie villains I've ever seen. He's, I mean, you know, everybody great performance. Yeah, but insanely good. Uh, just in terms of, like, him as a character, it's like, I don't really care at this point. Wow. Look at you. 
Well, because they, they just kept pushing like the the always mysterious and chaotic, and it's like, yeah, I, I get it. I don't know. It did because Batman's always been about the villains, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, Batman is weirdly kind of the straight man in any other lore, in any other interesting Batman lore. Mm -hmm. um, the Joker is he's vulnerable and like human. Watch that. And hell. you sort of get to know a little bit about him. Mm -hmm. But you don't really in that movie, and it's just kind of like, uh... Interesting. I don't know. Which I guess wasn't what the movie was about, but... No. Jump out! Fuck away from my fucking coin, dude! Alright, fine. What a dick. Take that one. I don't even care. I don't even care. Anyway, I could- I could go on and on about the Nolan Batman movies when I'm not concentrating on beating a boss. That's okay. Wh who you just beat, so great job. Yay. So anyway, back to Nolan Batman movies. <laughs> I fucking did it! <laughs> Oh, we're done. This next time on Game Grumps time. Oh, cool. Yeah. So we'll see you then, everybody. Okay, bye. Always a pleasure. I do mean that, though. Some people say always a pleasure, and it's not, but I fuck. I mean it. I, I love this show. Who would say that? Like people. Like fucking, like Bane. I was a pleasure, Batman. <laughs> Batman. Batman. You were born in the shadows. It's always a pleasure, isn't it? <laughs> The shadows are great. Batman, I need you to pick up some eggs and milk from the grocery store. <laughs> what was that, Bane? Hey, welcome back. Um, before we start the episode, uh, I really want to say something. Please do. I got a, I got a, I know I talked about in an old episode that I got a wrong number text from somebody. But oh, I just got yeah. another wrong number text from somebody. Different person? Different person. Okay. Um, and the first thing that they texted me was, I think a fun line to say at a gay bar is, Hey, whose dick do I gotta suck to suck a dick around here? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Ha ha, funny joke, <laughs> but who is this? <laughs> um, oh my god, were they embarrassed? No. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, probably not. Probably well, not. Well, it's funny because he's like, He's like, This is, th this is Sean. This is John from the party, right? And I'm like, no. Whoa. And he's like, oh, then who is this? And it's like, what? A wrong number. Yeah. <laughs> like like any the... other human being in the world, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Something. I think it has something to do with the sun. This isn't the fucking end of the game, is it? Yeah, this is the very end. No. Yeah, this is the last level. It is not. Yeah, it totally is. Are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> of course I'm fucking okay, with Okay, good. You. Oh my god, Luigi! <laughs> Luigi's just like, why am I in this game? <laughs> Help me! <laughs> I've been in here for 50 days! <laughs> Mario's like, I'm a coming, you useless bastard! <laughs> okay, oh, that's a pretty far. No, I, like... Back to the spaceship! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't love him that much. Yeah. I got the new brother. Woohoo! How old are we? I'll name him Badigi. Oh, fucking Badigi. Badigi. <laughs> Um, yeah, he just starts treating Waluigi like his brother. <laughs> yeah, wah. <laughs> oh, Luigi! And <laughs> hey, Waluigi. <laughs> yes, uh, why, that's, that's what I Luigi? Yeah. <laughs> why are you wearing purple? Because <laughs> uh, I'm Waluigi. <laughs> <laughs> why, Luigi? <laughs> it's just so stupid. <laughs> it's just gone completely insane. Yeah, it's just like a why? fucking Abbott and Costello routine. <laughs> Oh, gee, oh, oh, geez. Just give it, give it. Nice. Thank you. Okay, cool. Thank God. If we only had 22 lives, I was about to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you and I are always on the same page. Mm hmm. We're like Ellen Page. All right, you know what? <laughs> We're like two penises in a pod. That's the saying, right? Is that right? <laughs> two penises in a pod. <laughs> like a little pod bush. <laughs> There's just like two little dinkly dinks because you want. Yeah. Bro, you finally came! <laughs> oh, I've heard that in a gay porn before. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. He's gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna have to like. I'm gonna have to shit like a fucking racehorse after this. Re that's not what the saying is, first of all. Yeah, but have you ever seen a racehorse shit? I have not. I oh. imagine it's very fast. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you- It's, it's like on beat. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you like drop like a- like a wet sack on the ground. That's the sound it makes. Oh no. Just 
How much horse feces have you been around? And you can feel it. it like oh, your mom runs a horse yeah. thing. I yeah. forgot all about that. Duh. I've been around horses my whole life. Shit, dude. Yeah. I always forget that you're like a fucking podunk hick from the backwoods of Florida. <laughs> yep. No, it's totally true. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. That like, yeah, you 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 grew up like in a rural Florida environment, and I grew up in the fucking suburbs of New Jersey. <laughs> and so, ten years earlier. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 only partially true. Like, the I don't know where the fuck this letter is. So fuck it. Really? Yeah. Cool. Um. Five minutes of my life, I'm not getting back. The weird thing about my childhood is that it was like, it was trapped between two worlds, right? Like, we lived just outside of... The Zorglax dimension? No, the Z-Blox dimension. It's just because you said trapped between two worlds. <laughs> well, hold on, if I shoot a fucking spark, man. Yeah, eat shit. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the point of my story was. I remember what the story was, You but... were between two worlds. Yeah, really so I, I grew up, and I was like... I, I lived in this like backwoods town mm -hmm. that was like across the street from a really nice suburb Okay, so I went to these like nice schools and had like sort of these You know, I had a lot of friends that like They had like nice houses and and like all of the systems and stuff right and then I just like had nothing and It was so bizarre to like live and, and people hated coming over to my house because they had to like open the rickety gate to, like, get inside on the yeah. dirt road, and they'd have to wash their cars every time they came to my house. Right. Um, but they were my friends, so they would do it for me. <laughs> it's funny, man. It's weird, like, do, do you miss it? What, living out in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, just, just your home, like, the place where you grew up. Fuck no. No? I mean, I miss my parents. Right. But, no, not Florida. Florida sucks. That's... Wow, interesting. Cause it, I I would be fine never going back there again. Wow. Yeah. I really loved the place where I grew up. Right, I'm trying to look for this turtle shell, but I love New Jersey, man. It gets such a bad rap because most people only see the Turnpike, uh, which is a disgusting, stanky mess. But um, <laughs> there's a lot of like beautiful forests and waterfalls and stuff uh, in in the wilds of Jersey. Really? Oh oh yeah. Cool. Um, and and it's weird too because like I. I went to school in Boston, and then I immediately moved to New York and Philadelphia and all sorts of different places. And like, since I, um, honestly, since I left home at like 17 or 18, like, I've never had a place that I felt like I was home, you mm, know? Yeah. And, and it's weird, because you go back to those places and they don't feel like home anymore because, yeah. you know, so much has changed. Um, but that was what was so cool because this past year I started going to Oregon a lot. Um, and even now, like, I mean, because our CD manufacturer, CD Baby, is up there and we're signing those CDs. Like, actually, after tonight, I'm going, after we finish these episodes, I'm getting on a flight and going back up there. Yeah, and, talking about that fucking busy life. Yeah, it's, earlier it's, episode. it's crazy, it's crazy. But, like, but that's the thing, like, Oregon, for whatever reason, like, gave me that feeling for the first time in, like, what, 20 years of, like, actually being home, you yeah. know? And it's just, it's such an awesome, like, thing when you find it. Of course, I can't live there right now, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, like, it, it's, it's just cool to, like, know that you can find that in other places. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, that rabbit is fucking very sparkly. I know what you mean. I don't, uh... I don't know. For me, home is a good book and a couch. And where Susie is. Right? Thanks for- thanks for- thanks for making me, uh... No, I'm not fucking being like, and your wife, right? No, like, <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, when, like, when you love someone like that, like, that's where home is, you know? Yes. For yes, sure. Of course. For sure. Yes. That- that is actually very true. So I grew up... Um, you know, I lived with my parents and everything, but they, you know, dad was always at work and, and mom was always doing, like, the, uh, doing her, like, charity stuff. Right. Um, so, I was pretty much home alone a lot of the time. Right. Um, not that I was, like, neglected or anything, but it's just, I was pretty independent. Um, and then when I started living with somebody else, uh, it was, like, hard because I was like, oh man, I've, I've been alone this whole time and now... I'm always around people. Right. And even now, it's like, okay, I come to the office and I'm surrounded by people, I go home and I have my wife. Um, so it's like weird. Mm -hmm. And and so I have this, 
this feeling like, oh man, I need my alone time. Like, man, if I get my alone time, like things are gonna be like just the way they were, and it's gonna be like the best. And then Susie like goes off on a trip for a while, and then like like the first day I'm like, yeah, and then the second day I'm like, I'm lonely. Oh, totally. Well, dude, like I don't know what to do. The, those psychology books that I've been reading and talking about, uh, like talk about that shit. How like, um, uh, happiness with other people, especially in a relationship, is like there has to be a balance of contact and space. You know, mm. and if there's too much contact, then you feel smothered, and if there's too much space, you feel lonely. You know, and, yeah. and isolated. So like, um, you you just need to find that balance, um, and that's why long distance relationships are so hard because there's too much space. You mm. know, like, uh, I don't know. It, it, it's it's all in um, it's all in the way you approach things and and like what your own personal like guidelines are and what works for you, but. Either way, like, I guess, I guess the moral of all this, that we didn't mean to get deep on this random episode of Galaxy, but like, the, the moral of all this is like, you know, you make your own rules and find what works for you, and you can, you can be happy anywhere and with anyone cool, you know? You just have to like, have the understanding that like, you need to find that like, balance. Just like this guy cannot find the balance between being how much a huge food fat ass. <laughs> like, yeah. Jeez. Collect shells. Yeah. Okay. You bring me the gold shell. It's an automatic A. Well then, fuck! I'm getting the gold shell. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, Every why would I waste my time with it. anything else? Right. All right. Well, here we go. Gold shell time. Could he be talking about the clam? No, no. Okay. There's a turtle shell. Oh. He's talking about the shell too. There's shells under here. I know they are. <laughs> Wait. I go can't back. Find a single shell. Go back to where you. Where you were? Yeah, wait, right over here. Dive, uh, yeah, or go back on, um, on the other bridge? No, 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 no. The, the, the okay. one that was further along? Yeah. Gotcha. Well, you can just pretty much look down, I guess. I thought I saw some sort of spiky bramble thing, which could conceivably be a shell. No, 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 it's a turtle shell, bro. Okay. Bro, it's a turtle shell. Ah, uh, yes. It's in a treasure chest, I think. Really? Um, yes. Y yes. But I cannot find it. No. And I don't know where the fucking shell is. Yeah, well maybe I can kick this and, and something will happen. Nope, that is definitely dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say go to the opposite end of the pool, because you've explored- Explored? You've explored this place pretty thoroughly. Sure thing, buddy. I'll get a- <gasps> That motherfucker's got the shell! He's got it. He's motherfucking swimming around with the fucking shell with his friends. Lock and load. I gotta steal it from him. Yeah, you do. Your objective is clear, Adam. You Aaron. Get the fuck over here. You always call me Adam. Beat the shit out of yeah! me. Yeah! Fuck you! Oh yeah. Fucking swimming around with my fucking shell. Wait, so you're um are you controlling it? Hell yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, so bang! Uh, Hell yeah. Oh, that's it? I all I got a one up? Well maybe you can go in the cave now. No, I can't. No? Wait, is what I needed a shell? What was the objective? Oh yeah, bring me a gold shell. Oh, motherfuckers! Here I'm thinking, like, clamshells. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like a... Yeah. Like a, uh, Meanwhile, we're like, if we get the turtle shell, I'm sure it'll bring us to the shell! <laughs> oh, that is fucking very Game Grumps of us, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez. Wow, sorry everybody. No, it's okay. You just... I, I had the exact same thing in my head. Because shell collecting, no yeah, one ever in fucking... A, in, in a sea level. Yeah. So I thought it was gonna be like a, like a you know, like a corkscrew Yeah, seashell. you're on a shore. You're on the shore. All right, come here with that fucking turtle shell. Hey, I did your fucking criminal activity for you. You just fucking throw it at him and kill him. <laughs> oh, I should do that. Yeah, see what happens. You think I should? Yeah, try it. Just be ready to. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that, bitch? <laughs> Excuse me, I'll go get you a shell. <laughs> get me the shell. Oh, yeah, I just. Oh, uh, uh, fuck you, man. Fine. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Get again. A shell back. My shell. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, man. Fuck that guy. Oh, I can do like a super jump. Check this out. Whoa. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Amazing. Oh, my God. He falls over backwards and drowns. Well, well, then, here's a big gold medal for you. You already had a, you already had a gold thing. Yeah. You just like shells better? Is that it, huh? Fucking starist. Me. Nice job on the test, but are you even one of my students? Uh, 
Uh, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm taking the gold shell with me. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. Woo! Here we go! Yep. Mazel tov, Aaron. All right, you sons of bitches. <laughs> oh my god, that's very aggressive. Welcome back Whoa. to Bouldergeist. Look at that guy. Yeah, he's uh, made of rock. <laughs> yeah! Oh, no, I wanted two cups of coffee. Uh, I know no one really rents videos anymore, but he has the look on his face that my dad used to get, like when he'd realized that the blockbuster videos were overdue. Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a much darker Mario game than I've ever seen before. It's kind of like a pleasant surprise with this playthrough. Is it really? I don't know. Dude, like, look at- you fucked up his jaw! Like, his- half his face is gone! Yeah. And now he's dead. He's not he's dead, he's just got the upper jaw. Not dead. With, like his uvula dangling around. Yeah, you know what? A little dark. A little dark now that I think yeah, about it's it. It's cartoony. It's cartoony. You're grabbing his fucking children by the tongue. <laughs> and bashing him in the face with them. Well, whatever, like, stomping on creatures so that they squish into mush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wasn't- wasn't dark? Oh, shit. Now he's twice as pissed. And he's got some grabby hands. He's twice as pissed and twice as armed. <laughs> okay, okay. Did you fucking just do that? Because it's good. Went there, went there, went there, went there. Stayed there, stayed there. Motel 6. Yeah, set up a- set up a summer home. Oh, damn. Hotel motel. Holiday Inn. <laughs> if your girl starts acting up, then you take her friend. Oh, that's actually damn. not good advice, but no, it is the song lyrics. That's, uh... When was that written? <laughs> 1977, I it's think. It feels a little outdated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. And woo! Nice! And ho ho! Yeah, there you go. My name is Mario! I fucking swing and the bomb of ghosts around at the big boulder monster! Fucking, I'm a plumber! <laughs> he's kind of fucking badass. Mario? Yeah, he's like the ultimate badass, dude. Well, certainly Mario, but also this thing. Like a smile on his face. Yeah. Oh, oh damn! The ghost, so shit! <laughs> oh, fuck you off, Jesus Christ! You can fucking fall right in the uvula! Fuck you! <laughs> oh, shh. I'm a fucking of my- Ow, oh, shit! <laughs> wow. Be careful. Shit, I'm a fucking of my- Watch the dad health. What the fuck? Nice. Got the bitch. I got the bitch. Amazing that he can make sounds. Even after you killed his lungs. <laughs> Maybe he's just displacing air with his, like, with his speaker shape. With his gross, uh, with his gross uvula. Uvula. Yeah. He just goes <laughs> back and forth so fast that it creates air vibrations, which create distinct sounds. That's a strong possibility. And here we go. Daredevil Comet, motherfucking ghost galaxy, whatever. Oh, I have to beat Boulder Guys without getting hit. What? That's gonna be not fun. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't think I can do this. What, like, isn't it necessary to defeat the game? Uh, it is to get all of the stars, but this is gonna be tough. Oh, yeah. Give um, it a shot. Alright. I believe in you. Look at me, I'm fucking Mario, listen to nice. me. Nice. fucking Mario. Nice. That's how you fucking do it, bro. Yeah, but when he gets the hands, it's difficult. That's how you do it. That's how you debate. Bro. She's out of my league, bro. Rated PG-13. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Take it right in the uh, uve. Right in the uve. Nicely done. Alright, now this is the form that's gonna give me trouble. Cause those hands, man, they can grab you. Yeah. They get a little grabby. Damn. Like, all the fingers are exactly the same, uh, length. Damn, son! Yeah, that's a double hit. Watch- Don't watch out! Ah. Oh, oh, god. Oh, He's scaring man. me. You got fucking legit scared right Yeah, there. well. Watch out! I, like, you got one hit, bro. You got one hit. Ooh, that was... scared me. You can't be flocking around. Walk a flock of flaming around. Is that a band? Uh, that is a rapper. I'll thank you to be a little bit more urban. Nice- Aaron, Jesus, no, man! No, Are you good at video games? No. <laughs> I just got lucky. That was outstanding. Bro, thanks. Bro, bro, oh. Daredevil comment. I felt like that was significantly easier though. Like they, I think they toned it down a little bit. You think so? I think maybe you just got more used to his patterns. <sighs> maybe. Bum, ba -da -ba -bum. Yes. Holy fuck! <laughs> I can't believe. Jesus, I gotta take a fucking vacation before I fish it. To fuck, fuck. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get a massage, a Swedish massage. I'm gonna make a banana <laughs> cry. <laughs> I was just gonna say they're gonna make up the banana cry. <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, Do you want me to make? 
a banana cry? It's a little fucking lady. yes, of course. <laughs> Gee, what the fuck do I pay you for? Jesus, a fucking cry! Don't you know it's unhealthy to hold in sadness? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking a plumber. Oh, jeez, that's, that's the only reason I make a job, is so I can pay for the banana cry. Oh my goodness, God. And so I can get a macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Sinking the airships. I can eat at Tony's Italian restaurant. Eh? I used to have this back in Florida. There's this place called Sal's. Mm -hmm. it, was an, it was an Italian restaurant. And they had like a local commercial that ran on like local stations. And, uh,. The guy who made the store, Sal's, decided to play like every part, every male part in the commercial. Mm. And the plot of the commercial is there's this guy, and he has he's having a girl coming over, but he doesn't know how to cook, so he calls Sal's to deliver. Okay. And then they they show up and they deliver it, and he like serves her the food, and then it's like, you know, she's like, "Ooh, your cooking's amazing." Is and Sal like, the girl too? No. Oh, okay, thank God. He, only the male characters. And then you know, she's like, "Your cooking's amazing," and he's like, and "He's like, thanks, Sal's." Um, but anyway. He fucking, <laughs> he fucking orders the food. And he's like, "All right, I, here's the food." And then the delivery man comes, and it's him. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, "Delivery, Sal's restaurant." And you know, he's not an actor. Right. Well, oh boy, that's not good. And we that's just, not good. My brother and I used to just make jokes that he was like the pizza box. He opens up the pizza box and he's inside. <laughs> he's like, "Pizza's here." <laughs> <laughs> the pizza box is his mouth. Like, ah. yeah. and he like sits down on the chair and he's like, "Chair, chair time." <laughs> 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 That's ridiculous. That was a Florida thing? Yeah. I love public access commercials. Sal's was fucking delicious though, man. That was a great Italian restaurant. Really? Yeah, if you're ever in the, the West Palm Beach area, go check out Sal's. Maybe I will be. Yeah. Alright, so... Here's a, here's a funny story for you, Dan. Tell me. The, uh... The Nintendo Twitter... Uh, it might have been like the Mario Twitter itself. Okay. But, um, they made a tweet about Wigglers. And it was like, it was something like, Mario hates Wigglers, blah, 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 blah. But they spelled it wrong, so it said Wiggers. Oh, no. <laughs> and then, like, and then, like, a ton of people, like, retweeted it, and they were like, whoa! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and, then, and then they took it down, and they were like, whoa, Mario got a little crazy there. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Do you have a screenshot of that? I'm sure it exists somewhere. Okay, okay. If you just look up Nintendo Wigger tweet, I'm oh sure you'll find God. it. Yeah, hold on, let me do that right now. <laughs> Whoa, jeez, Mario had a had a good night last night. You know what I'm saying? All right, Nintendo. <laughs> it was like it was like one degree away from like. Nintendo we, we Wigger are, Wednesday. <laughs> we're like, we are really sorry about that. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's see. Reply wah for Waluigi Wednesday. Reply flower for Wigger Wednesday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it missed the one letter that it absolutely couldn't afford to miss. <laughs> Yeah. That's really fucking funny. Wigger! You know what's funny is if they- it was probably like with a phone and then it like spell checked it and was like, did you- Wiggler! That did happens you, all the time. Did you mean Wigger? Like, why? Why? You're not helping. Phone. Did it show the tweet that like they posted as a response? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Do you want me to look for that? Yeah, because they, they literally were like, whoa, Mario got a little crazy. <laughs> Oh jeez, Mario. That's who did it. Okay. <laughs> Not our PR guy named Steve. <laughs> oh gosh. Who was the one writing this tweet right afterwards? When tweeting about one of our characters, we missed a letter. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> did they say that? Yeah. That's from Nintendo. <laughs> I think we missed the letter. Oh boy. <laughs> the one responsible has subsequently been fired. Oops, sorry about oh, that. Oh my god. Oh, that's awesome. That is funny. Have you ever followed, uh... I, I found a... I've never used Twitter. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it. My new fit. well, fuck you. No, my new nothing against- Jeez, nothing against you or people who like Twitter. <laughs> wow. What? Didn't I didn't expect I... such a passionate defense. <laughs> I really like Twitter. Alright, cool. Whatever, man, I can fucking like whatever I like. Yeah. Yeah, and you can dislike whatever you dislike, but you're wrong. Uh, yeah, like, but my fuck you stands. <laughs> Jeez, I think that's the first time you've ever said fuck you to me, and I can't believe it was over Twitter. 
because that shit's stored in the cloud, which is why you should never send nudie pics over iPhone. Don't blow this for me, Aaron. I'm just fucking saying. There's, there's girls out there that will hear you and... Now you're fucking with my life. They will get found. Fuck you! The fu Apple has them! Man! They're in a computer in Apple, in some fucking corporate building. Pictures of your boobies are just there! They're sitting there! <laughs> They're right there! It's okay, everybody- Some fucking dude could just load them up and be like, Oh, check that shit out. Yeah. And they have the right to do that, because they own those pictures! Wow. Ooh, I'm getting a call from- from Brent. Should I take it? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, Hold sure. On. Hey, Brent! <laughs> uh, what's going on, buddy? I'm recording Game Grumps right now. At this very At moment. At this exact moment. <laughs> what's up, Brent? Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure the people would love it if I kept talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> It's- oh, Brent. It's almost time for next time on Game Grumps, Brent. I'm sure everyone would enjoy if you fucking took up the last tenth of this episode. Yeah. Just chatting away, cause everything- everyone- every- the world stops when Brent calls me. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, I'll, I'll call you back. <laughs> Bye, love you. <laughs> oh, man. He was like, for the love of God. Tell everyone you're joking and hang up on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brent. He's the best. Welcome back. So good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, man. Good to see you, Aaron. It's How are you today? Uh... This is a brand new day, new playthrough, new yeah. session. I'm- I'm alright to answer your question. Good. Feeling- are you feeling spry and healthy and- and wealthy and spry? <laughs> what is that like? I'm feeling healthy and wealthy and spry. Yeah. Like that song. Answer the fucking question. <laughs> I'm feeling witty and gay. Is that the yeah, that's the song, right? Uh, yeah, I believe it's I feel I'm pretty. pretty and witty, witty and gay. gay. Those are the kinds of things you just can't say anymore. <laughs> like Yeah. I I am, by the way, to does answer it, your question. Does anyone actually use the term gay to mean happy these days, or is it just to refer to homosexuality. Um, I'm sure like, like 90 year old dudes. Right, right. And women. Right. Uh, would, would say that, yes. Are you gay? The, the, uh, Are you my, feeling gay today? My grandma, Granny Sexbang, always likes to, um, I guess, I guess just in her time, like, you, the term boyfriend or girlfriend was just used for a platonic friendship to like denote gender and not like, Meaning anything romantic, you know? Right. So she would, uh... She, uh, has said multiple times, like, Are you recording with your boyfriend, Aaron, today? And I'm like, Let's review that sentence! <laughs> and change some things! <laughs> First of all, I know he's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> no need to delineate that. <laughs> it's- it's so funny. Um... <laughs> yeah, just- I've, I've been having a lot of weird... Weird miscommunications like that lately. <laughs> Like my, my, my You're gonna record the show with your boy? My <laughs> friend Aaron, that is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, my calendar, uh, for today, actually. Uh, Barry has been out of town. Um, so in my calendar it says, Barry's back. Um, and I also, uh, like, we're, we're filming, we're filming a sketch tomorrow, so I have to shave. So, like, I wrote down shave as well. But I guess they were too close to each other, so it looks like shave Barry's back. <laughs> <laughs> And my friend saw it and he was like, uh, what's going on on Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> Just like testing you? Yeah. So, uh, what's the, what's the so, deal with Thursday? So yeah, you wanna tell me about your life right now? Yeah. Cause obviously some things were changing. Oh, uh, well, uh, my friend Barry needs his back shaved. Yeah, and I thought I'd just get right in there cause he's my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Wow. No, I, hey, I haven't seen this, uh... Oh my Damn, God. look at those arms moving. <laughs> that looks like me jerking off, like... <laughs> like when you know there's not a lot of time before everyone gets back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the worst. When you fucking... <laughs> when you're like, taking way too long to figure out what you want to watch. Oh, and yeah. And then you realize you only have. Well, really? Whoops. And well, you realize you only have, like, 30 seconds, and, like, you hear the door creaking, and you're like, Shit! Alright, whatever! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Godzilla, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> the weird, like, 
the, the weird, uh, not heterosexual stuff that I just found on a whim. Yeah, whatever, I'll do it. I, I don't yeah, care. I don't care. So be it. Skin on skin. Yeah. Don't matter. You're wa you're watching gay porn, I'm in my house watching fucking Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, and we are just jerking it like crazy. Welcome back. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, dude, I was- <laughs> you, you losing batteries? No, I just remembered, like, I, um... I got a call from the CVS pharmacy, but I guess they're having trouble with, like, the, um, like, certain parts of their automated system. Yeah. Like, cause you know how automated systems have the parts that, like, are used for every part of the- f of every phone call? And, yeah. and then, like, there's the part that, like, changes based on the patient. And so the part that's changed on the patient, I guess, is fucking up. So it was like, Hello, this is CVS Pharmacy, calling for <laughs> we wanted to tell you that your prescription for is now available. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's awesome. I was dying. Or like when somebody doesn't know how to fucking... Somebody who doesn't know how to use like a phone or like a phone system very well. Just kind of, you know, it's like... Would you like to accept a call from... The fuck is actually... <laughs> <laughs> if not, that is press two. totally, totally my dad. <laughs> totally. <laughs> they, I, like, they, they have not... It hasn't happened in so long with- because with cell phones and shit. Right. But like, when- when he used to call me during college, it would be like... You have a call from... Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Do you accept? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know a <laughs> or, or like, yeah, or him talking to my mom. <laughs> you have a call from, I don't understand how these work. Dad, can you show me how to- Do you accept? <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Oh, that is so fucking funny, I haven't thought of that in a while. Yeah, yeah, dude, I bet there's so much, like, like, 90s ass shit I could think of, like, to make jokes about. Totally. It would be completely irrelevant now. You also just reminded me of, uh... Let me see if I can find it. My dad left me a voicemail. Just... Where he, like, comes really strong out of the gate. You know? <laughs> Hi, dad! Yeah, he's like, Aah! Hold on, let me... <laughs> oh my god, that's exactly what I said! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's I, great. I, I've just recently seen a picture of your father. Oh yeah, he's- he's totally awesome, normal, suburban dad yeah, type guy. Yeah, not what I expected. Well, everyone thinks he has, like, long gray hair. My dad looks nothing like me. Um, yeah, yeah, I look more like my mom. Definitely your mom. Yeah, uh, but my dad, my dad was super like handsome uh, back in the seventies. That that he did have long hair then, and like he was like just out of the Israeli army, so he was all like fucking like super cut up. I was like, Jesus, Avi, you look fucking awesome. He's like, eh, yeah, mm, whatever. Hi, <laughs> Granny. Granny Sexton is with me in the car. <laughs> she's in the house. And, That's my mom. Uh, we all want to thank you how much we enjoyed the, the, uh, <laughs> the video. <laughs> so, uh, lots of luck with it. And uh, if I ever, ever, ever hear myself again on Game Watch, <laughs> I'll never call you again. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, that's oh, from man. June of last year. Jesus. That's how long I keep these things and treasure them. Oh, because they're beautiful. Avi, it's I like, love it's like you. art. Yeah, it really is. Oh it, god, not this level. My dad does not realize that every time he's about to leave a message on my phone, it's a masterpiece that I will treasure for decades to come. <laughs> if only you could frame voicemails. Oh god. I'm such a fan of that guy. He's the best. Dude. That's good. Yeah. My- <laughs> I love it. Different topic! <laughs> <laughs> Great. Awesome. Can't Ooh, wait to hear another do story about not weird care. dad. Yeah, oh man. What's, uh... 
what, what's the Charlie thing from Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Like everyone's talking and he just screams like, SHUT UP! <laughs> He's like, OH MY GOD, I DON'T CARE! <laughs> It just seems in character for everybody. It's true. <laughs> oh, that's a funny fucking show. Yeah, Charlie's great. Whatever. Denver, the last dinosaur. He's my friend and, and a whole lot more. Lot more. more. <laughs> Slows down on the fucking yeah. frame of him hanging out with kids. <laughs> they're all crawling all over him. Like whole everything is terrible. Lot more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is CVS Pharmacy. It says you want to watch Denver the Is that correct? Oof, 18 seconds. Can you do this? Yeah, it's fucking easy. Really? Yeah, totally. Okay. Got it. Um so fucking easy. Uh, uh, yeah, no no problem. Oh god. I got this. Oh god. Oh god, don't fuck around with the bits! No, I got it. Ah! Uh, so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Just in midair. <laughs> Nice. Go. And go, go, go. Go, 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 go! It takes two to make this thing go round! It is two to make it out of <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> yeah! Nice. Woo! Oh, dude, you're doing much better this time. Yeah, that's right. You're so fucking awesome. You but, might as well finish this shit. Yeah, well, I'm going to. You might as well get it. <laughs> shit, shit! Son of a bitch! Next time I'm fucking. God damn it. All son right. of. Ah! Maybe we'll just do this off camera. Oh my god, dude. And then, and then these things the thing you're on right now yeah. is giving me a crazy flashback to my like young childhood. Is it like a frisbee? No, it was holy shit, I don't even know what these things would wait, be called. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Please tell me. It's the fucking like the the like steel wire wand that has like the little disc on it with the two magnets on the side? No, but and then close. It goes, like, woo, woo. Very close, very close. Oh, okay. No, the, these had to be before your time, because I was only like four or five. Um, they were these plastic discs that were, were like, it was like a, uh, like a, a baby's version of a record player. Like, they were records, and they had like little divots and weird shit on them, like little bumps, uh -huh. and then like, there was a, the pin, like, that, would make the sound on a record player, it was like a bunch of little pins next to each other in a line. And each time they'd hit a bump, it would be like, ping, 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 ping. So a music box. Yeah, a little, like a little music box, but like a really specific kind that had discs that looked like just like that, because they had those like grooves in them. Fuck, I know what you're talking about. Do you really? Yeah, I had one of those. Oh my god. That really takes me back. I'm gonna call my mom and see if she still has that. And send it? Yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah, they used to like, have like little Sesame Street crossover things. <laughs> That's one of those things where like if you call your mom and you're like, you're like, you're like, Doobles, can I, uh... Doobles? You yeah. know I call her Doobles? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, it'd be like... Uh, My mom's name is Debbie, by the way, <laughs> which turned into Doobles, by the... somehow. So you'll, you'll be like, uh, do you know those little things or whatever? And she's like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, could you send that to me? And then she'll be like, all right, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> what's so, going on? Who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that you're thinking of nice memories from your childhood yeah. <laughs> and you need this to be happy right now? That's totally, that's, that's very funny. <laughs> that's, and there is some truth to that, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, are you recently going through a breakup? <laughs> Do you want your old Game Boy? Okay. So you, you can remember what it felt like? To play Tetris from 1988 <laughs> when life was simpler. <laughs> Here's some of that chocolate that you really like from here. From yeah, here. but only at Halloween's during your kid phase. Oh, that's not good. That's a bad thing. Whoa! Yeah, you can kind of feel that one coming. That teaches kids about inevitability. What does? Oh, uh, that situations like that where yeah. it's like there's nothing I can do. Yeah, just just huddle up and wait for the cold, dark embrace of death. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is something there is something unsettling about imagining a world where like this is the whole world right now. This the what mm. the what? Yeah. Yeah. Did, oh, did you jump off to the left? Well, you're dead now. Yeah, you just fell into an abyss. Not the abyss, just an abyss. Yeah, we have many. But yes, no, my kittens are not slaves. They are more. No, uh, they are. Uh, they would be dead without you in like five minutes. I probably respect them more than I would of actual roommate. I think you're right. You like do I, treat your cats very well. Like, I wouldn't- I wouldn't look up somebody to, like, come into my house and, like, 
spend time with my roommates when I leave. Mm. They're like, I'm lonely! And it's like, don't worry, I have a guy, he's gonna show up every, like, two or three days. That's- And just, and like, you know, flush your toilet for you, and like, cook you some food, and, you know, so like, you know, you got a pretty good life. <laughs> All things considered, you don't have to pay for any of it. No. Nope. All you gotta do is hang out on my couch a lot. Yeah. And like, every so often let me touch you. Sometimes I look at Mimi. And she looks at me with those big vacant eyes, and I'm like, fucking get a job. <laughs> Freeloading little bastard. <laughs> and then she just looks up at you and the sound of a yeah, pin yeah, dropping yeah. is heard. She's just like, blink, 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 blink. <laughs> oh. I love that cat. She is a smart one. She is not. She is anything but. Mm. She's, but she's a sweet one. And Mochi's very smart. I Mochi, like, like, got all the brains in that family. She like, last night she was sleeping, like, right in the middle of where I sleep on the bed. And, right. I, and I was just like, alright, you gotta go. And I like pet her and she's like, yeah, I'm fucking laying here and getting pet. And I'm like, I'm like, no, you gotta go. And I like nudge her and she's like, oh, nudge is cool. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> totally. And then, and then I was like, "All right." And then I picked her up. Oh, and, look at you skating! Yeah, I'm cool, right? Oh, look it. at that triple axle right yeah, there. Yeah, nicely done. Um, and then I, and then I picked her up and moved her, and then she was like, "Oh man, well, back to that spot I was in." Yeah. <laughs> it just lays back, and I was like, "Mimi, you, oh, what is with you? Please understand something. This is not. This is not cool. Yeah, like I, not I could cool. break you at any moment. Yeah." And nobody would be, I would just be like, oh no, she, you know, it was, she, it was she, weird. She, she just, she, it's natural causes. Yeah, she, she went to, um. And bury you in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> she went to go get a little, little sip of water and her, her neck broke. <laughs> yeah. It was the weirdest. Yeah, uh, so, whatever. And then she flew out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then I etched, man. and then, and then mysteriously, like a ghost etched, fuck you, Mimi, this is my <laughs> side of the bed, into her, into her corpse. Yeah, and then she caught on fire! Ah, weird. What? That's crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, sad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need the day off. <laughs> and then we're all like, um, you're the president of the company, so, you can just do that. You don't need to ask us. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right. See you later. <laughs> I think Brian like uh, did some kind of tweet that was like, "I scream, you scream, we all scream for the horrible inevitability that is death." <laughs> and he was like, "It was one of my most unpopular tweets ever." <laughs> I was like, "I thought it was funny, dude." <laughs> it's weird what gets tweeted and what retweeted and what not. Yeah. Surprisingly. The most retweeted things are the things that ask people to retweet them. Yeah. When I, out of principle, do not retweet things when people ask to get retweeted. Right, well, it's like, you know what? If I think your tweet deserves retweeting, I'm gonna retweet it. Yeah. Fucking tell me what to do. Well, you march to the beat of your own stupid drum. Well, shut up. <laughs> for a second. Just for a second. Like, yeah. in, in once in your life. Just Maybe some people are second. nice and they respond when someone asks them to do something. Yeah, whatever. Cool. Know anything. <laughs> Retweet if Dan doesn't know anything. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. <laughs> oh man, can I just say real quickly about death? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let, let me let Go me ahead, light nice the mood. light to the topic for no, us. No, I because I started reading uh, the Sandman comics. Oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah. Where um, Sandman for people who have never read them, uh, Sandman is about this group of. I guess you could call them lords, gods, whatever, of, uh, they're called the Endless. And so there's one that's called Dream, who's the lord of human dreams, and he's the Sandman. Uh, so he's the main character. And his sister is Death. Um, and she's super cute. Yeah. Such a hottie, I yeah. love her. And, like, it's really interesting. It's just really cool, like, the way the story, like, personifies. Anyway, just to, to wrap this up, uh, Dream is talking to his sister Death, and he's like, I don't understand why humans are so afraid of you, and yet they enter my realm willingly every night, um, when you are so much better to them, and, and, and so much more welcoming, and I, and my realm is truly so much more terrifying. And I'm like, holy shit, this is such an interesting, like, way to look at things. I just love it. So anyway, like... Yeah, well, he's cherry-picking, bro. Fucking sometimes dreams are awesome, and I get to like bang superstars. Yeah, well, I'm 
You know what, Aaron? I think that was not specifically the point. When you die, you just- you're gu- you're fucking- and everybody cries. Every time, unless you suck and people are happy about it. You don't know. You don't know what happens when you die. Anyone who tells you they know what happens when you die is either- I know what happens when you die. You stop talking anymore. And then you'd probably get either burned or put into a coffin, and then people cry, and then they go on with their life, because the, whatever, what else are you gonna do? Anyone who says they know what happens when you die is either misguided or selling something. <laughs> it is the truth. It is the truth. Oh, damn. Next time on Game Grumps. Yeah. Uh, more... More truth bombs. More rhetoric. <laughs> more from, from our fucking <laughs> resident cynic Dan. So funny how, like, that's not cynical at all. <laughs> That's the opposite <laughs> of cynicism. That's open-mindedness. Whatever, bro! What are you selling? <laughs> Amazing that, like, just last episode, I was like, did I get too deep? And you're like, no, people love that shit. Like, get as deep as you want. And then I do it this episode, and you're like, oh, shut the fuck <laughs> up! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I am bored! All right, cool. See you later, everybody. Let's just because we're still doing the episode. Once I'll, we turn the time off, right. I'll just look at Rosalina. She's just like when her eyes closed. She's like, ma 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 Hi! Welcome back to Game Grumps, I'm so everybody. excited for you all to be here. I'm excited too, actually. Alright. This is good. Wh why is it good? Tell me. Well, we went to RTX. Yeah? Uh, we just got back. Um, and uh... Shit! That was a fucking fun time. It was. RTX was a good con. I love, uh... Very well run. Yeah. Uh, everybody there is beautiful. Yeah, why? Um, the staff and the attendees. Yeah. Um, just like good looking people. Yeah, I just wanted to- I just want to fuck everybody. Austin- Austin is a cool town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure is. Uh, I really liked it. I had many weird, uh, encounters and, uh, misunderstandings via text. That's true. Yeah. Yes, for some reason, uh, the- the, the world decided that, uh, text messages shouldn't work <laughs> during RTX. Yeah. So, uh, we got a whole lot of, um, a whole lot of conversations that happened out of order. Yeah. And just like- we just stupid shit kept happening because like it was so crazy and we keep trying to like save time and text quickly and that's that's when you truly leave the door open to oh these fucking guys yeah they're cool um that's when you leave the door open to uh all kinds of nonsense like um <laughs> did i tell you the the problem i had with uh my buddy i i i, I used voice to text uh -huh. um he was uh saying like we were going to do something later and i was like Fucking A, man. Uh, so excited. And, uh, it ended up, uh, coming out- Fucking a man? Fucking a man. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, cool, good for you. <laughs> I never knew the side of you. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking a man. <laughs> Fucking a man. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> that was one of my favorites. Oh, dude. Yeah, for me it was just, uh... R Ross likes to, uh... turn one message into seven texts. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, Why so. does he do that? <laughs> but I thought there was something wrong with his phone, and then I realized there's just something wrong no, with he just, Ross. he just uses it like an instant messenger. Yeah. So... <laughs> since- since the reception was so bad, like, texts would happen out of order. So he'd just be like... You know... Behind the- behind the bridge. Like, <laughs> what? And then he's just like... Come meet me. I'm like, wait, hold on, what? <laughs> I'm down the street, and it's like, uh, okay. Yep. And he's like, Hilton, and it's like, wait, hold on. <laughs> it's like, sorry, I didn't mention the hotel. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is going on? It's the best. It's the best. He'll also sometimes forget to, like, add a question mark to the end of, uh, one of his questions. So he'll, like, send- text you the question, and then text the question mark later. Yeah. But, like, he'll wait until you've texted, like, two or three texts back to him, <laughs> and then send the question mark, and I'm like, does he want me to fucking repeat what I just texted? He can just read it. <laughs> what? Ross. I didn't read that correctly. <laughs> Could you send it again in clear words? <laughs> swear to God. Uh. Maybe this was just a New York thing. Do you remember, like... And in the center of it all is the Milford Plaza. 
What? Okay, I immediately regret. Because I was like, as soon as I started singing it, I was like, of course, that's in the fucking middle of New York. Why would that be broadcast throughout the country? <laughs> but there, there was like, there was this really famous hotel commercial. I guess it was local, though. Um, back when I was growing up, and I, I was hoping for that big... I'm with you, Dan! Oh, totally, Dan! Oh, yeah! The Milford Plaza! Doo -doo, where you can get all kinds of underwears! At it's, different prices! It's a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> where... Like I said... Yeah. Where you can get all kinds of underwears! <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here right now. What, was, uh... Mario Sunshine, these duck guys' first appearances? I want to say yes. God, I, I love them. I don't remember them at all in Mario 64. I don't either. They certainly weren't in Mario World. No, no. I'm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> she just squashed his butt and his whole body explodes. <laughs> oh, I don't- if, if I can't have my cheeks, I don't want to live. <laughs> it's the source of their energy. Yeah, but mine too. I want to leave it open. Uh, just in case there's like a weird obscure like Mario poker that <laughs> fucking has those guys in it. Um, and that was their first appearance, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, because like the first time Charles Martinet was Mario was in like an unlicensed Mario game. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Like one of those weird Zeldas no one talks about? Yeah, it was like Mario, Mario's Go Fish. Oh, God. That's yeah. awesome. And there's like a little girl talking to him too. And she's like, He's like, do you have any Koopas? And then she's like, Mario, go fish! <laughs> and he's like, oh, I guess I'm gonna go fishing. Can we play that? Do we have it? I, I don't have it. Oh. I don't even know what it's for. I think it's for PC. Oh. Well, if someone wants to send us that. That's my favorite thing ever, Ro though. Ross and I can play it on uh, Steam Train or something. Just fucking watching this. Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go fishing. That's, oh, that's his disappointed sigh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my children are dead in front of me. <laughs> I'm gonna go fishing. No, I didn't say fucking a man, Charles. I said fucking a man. Oh, okay, I guess. Whatever. I'm gonna go fishing. <laughs> get on my boat. I'm gonna go fishing. Gotta get up early. Four o'clock in the morning. Hello. Welcome back. Um, the... The name of this episode, not episode, but the name of this level is When It Rains It Pours. Oh, I thought you were gonna name it. Oh. The name of this episode is... Oh, Kevin. We could name it... <laughs> we could name it a, an unused NSP song title. Okay, go for it. Uh, how about, um... What, what's one recently? I'll oh, that one. uh, ABC123, Teehee. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, all right. How, Hard do to even, how do you even write that song? I, we don't know. <laughs> Case in point, why it never became a song. Um, back when I was a teenager, my friend's dad, um, my friend's dad had an ATV, and he liked to put pictures of himself on the ATV all over the house. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Whoops. <laughs> that seemed very deliberate. Yeah, yeah. Mario could, like, I could almost sense him, like, looking up through the fourth wall at you, just being like, What the, the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess it's good to buy. <laughs> um, but yeah, my friend's dad always used to take pictures of himself on the ATV on the fridge, and then we would, like, write word bubbles on the pictures that would, like, take away the coolness of the picture. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so it'd be, like, him going over, like, a badass mogul. And we just like have a thing like, look at me, I'm on an ATV. Tee hee hee. Oh, I'm filled with glee. <laughs> and then mysteriously, the picture would be ripped down in anger like a day later. <laughs> Wait, uh, you would actually draw on it? No, we would like uh, draw like the word bubble on a piece of paper and then cut it out and like tape uh, it onto the I photo. See. Yeah. You can see like the little tape mark angrily ripped out. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, back in the days when you actually had photos. That's true. Wasn't that a special time? Well, you can still go to CVS. Yeah. Or, or Genevieve's. Kinko's and get yourself a, a printed picture from your digital pic. When you, when you had, like, um, stores like that, like drug stores in your town, did you have, like, one that kept changing? Um, 
like the name, but kept all the same fucking products, like yeah. it, because they're all the same. We had all we had in uh, Florida was um, Eckerd and CVS. Eckerd, yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was what it changed to for a little bit. And Walgreens, so all the Eckerds changed into CVSs. Yes. Um, I assumed because they got bought. That was my that was my thinking as a as a as a young six year old babe. That makes sense. Was that they got there was a corporate buyout, there was a merger and acquisition. Yeah. That's what kept happening with the game stores before GameStop was just like, one to rule them all! Oh my god, I was so pissed when they bought Rhino Games. Rhino Games? Ah. Uh, Rhino was my jam in Orlando. Uh, mine was Babbage's. <laughs> yeah, I heard a lot of good things about Babbage's, but I never- that wasn't in my area. Mmm. Did you ever work at any of those places? No, I worked at a Blockbuster. Oh, that's right. I worked at a GameStop in-, in on West 4th Street in New York. What?! Yeah. 2000... 2009, I guess, like the first year of Ninja Sex Party. I know was, you worked at a comic book shop, but... Yeah, I worked at Midtown Comics on 45th. Um, but that was... I got fired from that. Um, because the, the guy running it wanted to give his friend a job. Oh, what a dickhole. And he was such a dick. Fuck you, Brian. <laughs> not, not that Brian. Yeah, not, not you, Ninja Brian. I mean, fuck you too, obviously, but like... Yeah, no, the... the it was one of those situations where it was like, Yeah, today is your last day. Like, it was like the total fucking dude from Office Space moment. Yeah. And, uh, I was like, Shit, man, wh why? And, like, I was super upset, because, like, I had friends there. I still have friends who work there. Um, great people work there. Like my boy Demetrios. Yo, what's up, Demetrios? Demetrios Fragascatus. Shout out to my boy Demetrios. Doesn't get any more fucking Greek than that. Damn. Yeah. But he- he's- Does he pop his collars often? Oh, I wish. I- he, he should. Um, he's writing a comic book now, actually. What? What a badass. Yeah, Millennials, I think it's called. Holy like crap. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he- he's awesome. Jose, like, Sean, uh, Serge, so many fucking cool people at that store. So, like, I was super bummed, uh, when it happened. But then, um, uh, that time off, uh, and by time off, I mean, uh, crippling unemployment gave me more time to just fucking concentrate on creating NSP. And then I met Brian, like, a few months later. Oh, damn. Yeah, and my so friend Demetrius- a blessing in disguise. Yeah, yeah, he came- he came up to me, like, the next time I was in there, and he was like, Dude, uh, getting fired from this place was like, it's- it's gonna be the best thing that ever happened to you. And I was like, that's really nice of you to say. And it actually turned out to be true. Damn. Yeah. Yo, that, he was a regular soothsayer. <laughs> you should... what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what a soothsayer is. It's like a fortune teller. Oh. But in, in my... In my experiences, a soothsayer is usually like... Sort of like a, like a witch. You know? Yeah, that's what... yeah. Like, oh, come into my land, I will tell you the secrets! That's more along the lines of what I was thinking you were talking about. Blah. And I was like, I'm sure he'd be happy to know. That you consider him some sort of gross old crone like witch. <laughs> <laughs> crone. Yeah. <laughs> 40. God fucking. fucking Jesus fat Christ. Motherfucking Luma piece of shit. Okay, so I know what's gonna make you happier. Gluttonous garbage. Have you ever heard of Kierke Kardashian? What? <laughs> so, there's a Twitter account called Kierke Kardashian <laughs> that combines. Um, the writings of noted Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard with the tweets of Kim Kardashian. <laughs> and it's amazing. Please allow me to share. Yes. Okay. The yardstick for a human being is how long and to what degree he can bear to be alone in an airplane bathroom taking selfies. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm in the stage now where I wake up with a flat belly, but then as I eat, it pops out, and I see the self that I truly am. <laughs> <laughs> These are fucking great. Skirt is by Chloe, heels are by Manolo, but everything that makes me impure comes from within. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoever thought this up is a fucking genius. Wow, that's fantastic. It's really, really wonderful. Gaze inward and grow silent. Gaze at your selfies and grow vainly loquacious. 
Did she really say that? Oh, no, see. she didn't say that. She wrote the selfie part. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like, the fucking loquacious part, I meant. Oh, she definitely did not. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna say, that's a pretty... pretty sweet word. Loquacious. <laughs> Then came a moment where, overcome by blessedness, I knew I had understood the highest. I was stepping into Versailles, dressed in Margilia. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man, that is a vapid Twitter, if ever there was one. I know, it's really, really fucking great. Man. I mean, specifically Kim Kardashian's not... <laughs> not Kierke Kardashian. In all, in all capital letters. Just so I hit 164,000 followers, you guys, that is so crazy. Do you think I'm a fool who believes the world becomes better when it praises him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Holy Jesus. Yeah, my, my, my hat's off to whoever created that. Because, uh, you have, uh, really touched me in, in a way that, uh, could only come from my wasted college degree. Combined with my hatred of the Kardashians. <laughs> so do you you studied this guy? I mean, I read his stuff. He was a super depressed dude. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. He he. I mean, he only lived till like he was forty. Um, he he fell in love like one time, and I think she left him or she died. Just nothing good happened. Nothing good happened to my boy Soren. Maybe he is. Maybe he's just a pessimist, and like like a couple bad things happened to him, and he was like. I'm gonna define my life how- with, by these bad things now. Yeah, is that right? You think Soren Kierkegaard was just, like, super emo? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that guy. What a whiny bitch. <laughs> just because he watched his whole family die. Slowly of disease. Yeah, I mean, whatever. It's- it's... To each his own, man. What- what does th that mean? That is not an appropriate time yeah, to Yeah, sure. That. When in Rome. Yeah. Do as the- do as the- do as the guys do. <laughs> do as the bros do. <laughs> the bromans. <laughs> <laughs> Just hanging out in Brome, Italy. <laughs> Kanye and I are like two cows roped together, where one is frisky and jovial, while the other despairs at having to partake in such movements. <laughs> How does that fit into a tweet? I don't know. Jesus. That was like 140 characters on the dot. <laughs> wow. It's- it- it always surprises me, like, how weirdly long I can get with- with tweets. Yeah. Well, it depends on- depends on the words you're using. Oh, for sure. Like, if you write- <laughs> I guess that is really the key to all sentences. <laughs> yeah. When you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> At Kanye West. Congrats, baby, on getting almost five million views. Now all you have to fear is death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Soren. Oh. We need you these days, buddy. Oh yeah, he's he's got the insight. Actually, I don't know how to. It's how I've feels. never been clear on how to pronounce the O with a slash through it. Surin. Yeah, it might be Surin. 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 I think. And you got to do it with a. You got to. You got to do it from the throat. Surin. 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 I got Kierkegaard. Yeah, there's lots of extra A's. There's more A's in Kierkegaard than you might think. When one is truly weary of the world and life seems empty of meaning, try going blonde. It's fun for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back. Hello. Uh, so Dan and I were having an off-screen discussion about hilarious Twitter accounts. And, uh, I was like, I like hilarious Twitter accounts, like Nihilist Arby's. And Dan was like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, you haven't seen Nihilist Arby's? And I'm looking at it, and oh, oh my fucking god. <laughs> yeah, why don't you should, should, should we define what, what a Nihilist is? Uh, it's somebody who's really, like, pessimistic and... Yeah, someone who essentially yeah. believes in nothing. Yeah. Like, the world is bullshit kind of thing. Um, so Nihilist Arby's. First, the picture is a giant, gross Arby's sandwich <laughs> with just, like, layers and layers of hammy grossness. So, Nihilist Arby's. Okay. Arby's puts its pants on in the morning just like you. Paralyzed by creeping dread as we speed ever closer towards inevitable doom. Eat Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, why am I so sick? Shh, save your energy, baby. Does God hate me? Don't be silly. There is no God. Eat your Arby's while you still can. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me with this? 
That's been active for a long time. This is crazy. Oh, that's a great Twitter. They should actually use it for Arby's. They should just like acquire it. When Daddy says never grow up, tell him you have to grow up so you can die and not be the last person alive in this living hell. Eat Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! And, alright, I promise I won't make this whole episode of us just reading tweets, but like... One last one. With no... With no context, I don't know what this guy tweeted at Nihilist Arby's, but their response was, No, go fuck yourself. Thanks for enjoying Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, boy. Wow. Oh, that's good stuff. That actually, like... Cause I've never liked Twitter. Like, Brian has always been the one who, like, does Twitter on, um, the NSP account and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I- I think Twitter's really, like, overwhelming and not fun for me. But, like, that actually, like, makes me like it. Oh, yeah. Now I see why, like, what it has to offer. Oh, there's tons of comedians that use it as, like, practice and, you know. Cause it's- it's- it's like a- it's- if you get a little idea and you want to share it with the world and it doesn't fucking amount to anything, then you might as well just tweet it out. Have you ever seen the Japanese band P. Lander Z? P. Lander Z. Do you know who I'm talking about? They wear these crazy costumes. They used to show up at like anime conventions, I think. Really? Hold on, I'm gonna look them up. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. P. Lander Z? <laughs> what? I pick up my phone to look up P. Lander Z and I get faced with. <laughs> if you're stupid and scared to die, try religion. And fuck it, try Arby's too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me look at P. Lander Z. Whoa! <laughs> you okay there, buddy? I was spraying. <laughs> it's a nightmare! <laughs> Ow! Oh! <laughs> Mother, help me! <laughs> <laughs> it the burns! <laughs> I've never felt the pain so intense and poignant. <laughs> poignant. <laughs> it's a very meaningful pain. Um. Oh yeah, I have all the stars, I can fight Bowser now, but fuck that! Mm. I wanna get all the stars! It's time. He's no. like, fuck yeah! Do you wanna go to the location of the special one? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> Give me a fucking second! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it. Shit. <laughs> I think I'm doing it. <laughs> Just like an awkward calliope silence. <laughs> Shit, oh. no! Oh, dang darn. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Chris about this the other day. Like, wouldn't it be awesome if somebody modded like Mario 64? Um, but like, shit. But like, all they changed was they made Mario like really, really over the top with his fucking sound effects. <laughs> that would be amazing. I so he's just like, oh, <laughs> when he like lands on the ground and he's like, yeah. <laughs> I'd love it. Woohoo! I mean, granted that we played that for like 47 episodes, there's a chance it might wear a little thin. No. I no, no I, so. I, I refuse. No, I refuse I don't to think believe so. that. No, it does not wear thin. Fucking hippie. Woohoo! All right, great job. Waha! I did it. I'm fucking Mario. Holy shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shit in my overalls. I'm gonna take my overalls off and throw it at somebody I don't like. Hey, what's up? I'm Mario, Italian. Next time on Game Grumps. <laughs> hey, I want a lasagna so I can shit it out of my overalls. Make a bigger shit and tie it up and put it over somebody's face and make them go, ah, because I don't like them. They Tune don't, in they tomorrow don't... for some more clever video game commentary. <laughs> It's kind of like a method of torture, you know, you, you tie them up in the back room and you tie uh, shit stained overalls all over them and it smells really bad. Uh, it's like a human centipede, uh, come on. Human centipede? Yeah, it's like a human centipede. <laughs> you never seen that movie? It's a good movie, you know, if you like a gross of shit. Dad. 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 Dad, what's going on? Like, it's almost a Christopher Walken kind of thing. Subject. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, I'm a Christopher Walken. Oh, no. Dude. <laughs> Did I ever tell you, I probably mentioned this on the show once, mm -hmm. I always really wanted to make a, a show, like a fake game show, that was called like, Christopher Walken Impressions or some shit like that. Uh-huh. And the whole idea was like, you had to do a bad Christopher Walken impression. Right. Like, if you do a good one, it you lose points. Like, wow. the worse it is, the more points you get. So, so, I guess the control would be, if Christopher Walken went on the show, 
he would get a zero. Right. You know? Fair enough. So, and, and I wanted to do a whole show about that, so it's like, you go up and you're like, like, oh no, I'm Christopher Walken, oh no, and they'd be like, oh, that's good, 50 points. That's crazy. <laughs> that, one's, that one's pretty, that one's pretty not great, so yeah, yeah, 50, 60 points maybe? Yeah, I like it. Oh. I told you about my friend's comedy sketch, The Walking Dead, right? <laughs> Where, like, a giant, uh, terrifying, like, plague disease takes over the world, and, like, the only part of it, your brain, that it leaves intact are, is your ability to, like, walk and eat and, uh, do Christopher Walken impressions. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Oh, dang. <laughs> hey. It appears that I'm undead. Oh, gosh. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible Christopher Walken impression. I am, uh, Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> now all I can do are bad ones. Oh, no. <laughs> what is going on? Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> that would get you like fucking 85 points on the no show, problem, dude. No problem, dude. Out of 100. Out of a possible 86. Ooh, that's flattering. Oh, no. Look, my name is uh, Christopher Walken. I was in The Rundown with uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's favorite action actor. I'm gonna kill them all. Uh, don't Hi. take that out of context. <laughs> uh, get them all, get them all, get them all. Hurry. Oh, you've got to hurry. You're out of time. Oh, no. <laughs> bug a boom. Ugh. Oh, no, I squished the bug was, on his butt. That was a pretty sweet, like, time to pause. Like, do -do 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 -do. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Sorry, I killed your brother. Yeah. Now I kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lasagna pasta! Sorry, I saw your brother and did this! <laughs> oh shit! Uh, chicken and Alfredo! It's literally the only personality trait is that he's always happy and he's very Italian. Uh, Mario? Yeah. That does seem to be the way. Yeah, there's nothing else about him. He's just like, oh, I'm a Mario! I'm Italian and I like a people, dude! You know what? I hate to say it, like, I know it's kind of sacrilege to say it. He doesn't really have a strong personality. No, he doesn't. Like, kind of none of them do. No, the Link doesn't either. Why was it- why would it be sacrilege? It's just a fact. Well, Link, I feel like a little more just because, like, he goes through emotional situations. <laughs> like, with his grandma and stuff, and, like, <laughs> and his sister and everything. Like, Mario's just really about the game. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I mean, they're just- they're just vessels. It's totally fine for them to not have personalities. Huh. Finding power stars is harder to than a thought, but if I, in green... <laughs> yeah, that is weird. ...don't give all my all, the universe will fall to Bowser's claw. Yeah, really, and what is your all, Luigi? Yeah. Getting, uh, fucking trapped in a cell or getting stuck on a roof? Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's all you've done so far. It's my all. <laughs> giving it to my all. The universe rests on whether or not I can send a letter of distress to you. To come bail me out of whatever bullshit I've gotten into. <laughs> it's no problem, though. Because you always come and get me. Yay. No matter how dire the circumstances. Unless you're a ghost, in which case I'll be scared of you. <laughs> no! Oh, it's just you. I was very scared. <laughs> it's just you, though. It's no big deal. It's just you. Oh, boy. Uh, oh. That's a, a Yoshi with a lot of... Skin problems. Yeah, it's just straight up wooden Yoshi. Or maybe it's like a yarny. Yeah, it's wood. Oh, those are Goomba shrooms. That is a lot of Goombas. All right, good job. I killed all the Goombas. Wow, that was the most half-assed fucking mission <laughs> I have ever seen. Let's just put a bunch of Goombas on a planet that looks like Yoshi. I think it's more just to like for the enjoyment of the the wooden texture because that shit looks cool. Oh, I say. I say. Mm. I say, you say, we all say for ice cream. <laughs> you know, I was afraid you weren't going to be able to figure out a clever way to bring that home, but god damn it, you came through. You came through. I say, With you your say. your own special brand of Justin Roiland level comic. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> um, I'm a fucking Amario. Look at that. Damn, son. Look at that, you piece of shit. Uh, whoa. I'm a fucking a Mario. Like I don't have feelings or something. Yo, I'm a fucking uh, Luigi, yo. <laughs> Do you think Luigi ever gives Mario lip? Like, uh. Yeah, because Mario's always like. He's like, ha ha, yay, ha ha, woohoo! 
woo, you know, and then Luigi's kind of like the, like, ah, whatever, <laughs> you know, do whatever you want. And what if Mario comes home one day and he's like, ha ha ha, oh, I had such a great time with the princess. And he's like, yeah, and she's like, oh man, she's great, she really likes me. And, you know, I have, a, I have a good time with her, you know, uh, me and her just alone. And, you know, I have fun doing everything on my, by myself. And he's like, yeah, huh, by yourself, huh? <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> he's, meanwhile, he's on like OK Cupid, like. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't. How would you be... describe yourself? Uh, green, uh, <laughs> lesser. Mm. <laughs> wouldn't it be a, such a bummer if you had your brother around, huh? Oh no, no, it'd be, it'd be great. I mean, you know, it'd be fun. I think. Oh God, poor Luigi. Yeah. Oh, okay, no. Just bring me along next time, huh? Oh, sh sure, I'll, ca I'll call you. It was Princess- <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you a text or whenever I go out next. Yeah. I can't wait! <laughs> like, really tries yeah. to oversell it. <laughs> and meanwhile, Luigi's, like, on Twitter, and then he sees, like, Mario posting a picture of, like, At the coffee shop, but with my friends! <laughs> All like, my friends! <laughs> <laughs> Luigi's like, mm-hmm! like, <laughs> Texts him and he's like, "Thought you said you were gonna text me when when you were out." And he's like, "Oh, I I, f I forgot. <laughs> I just uh, um, and you are <laughs> slip the number. <laughs> it's just a number on his phone. <laughs> yeah, who is it? Is? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I lost my phone recently. That's that's what people say, right? When they fucking deleted someone and they don't give a shit. <laughs> oh man, Whoa, poor you Luigi. I will- I will rally behind any fucking... Any- any goddamn minority has been... rallying behind white superheroes, why can't I rally behind a black superhero, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, Dora the Explorer's fucking Chinese and no one has a problem with that. <laughs> She's Chinese! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Nihao Kai Lan is motherfucking Nigerian. No one has a problem with that. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> I love Chinese Dora the Explorer. Me she, too. Uh, yeah. Me too. All time favorite uh, racial. Uh, I sure could go for some taco roo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, have you ever watched Dora the Explorer? Yes. There's large swaths of silence. Oh yeah, because they want you to participate. Yeah. And it, but like when you watch that shit as an adult, she's like, "Should I go left or right?" And she clearly has to go left, and I'm just like, "Left." <laughs> and then she just doesn't do anything. She just stands there blinking, and I'm like, "Fucking go <laughs> left." <laughs> Maybe, maybe you don't really, maybe, uh, you know, maybe this isn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking probably I should watch some Breaking Bad or something, cause, uh... God damn it, you <laughs> Chinese bitch! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Left! <laughs> what is wrong with you?! <laughs> Ugh. I can't believe this. Get the rice out of your ears and go left. Stop pee peeing in that coke. <laughs> oh! She's like, okay, left. <laughs> you're like, finally! You're like, you're like sweating on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> like biting your blanket, like. <laughs> God damn it! I swear to Christ. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a pretty tough mission. You've always been funny. Aw, Aaron. That's why I picked you to be on the show with me. Oh, you're a kind. Ow! Fuck this shit! <laughs> is that? What I hate it. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come on, baby. Give me that. Give me that fucking. Give me that crowning fucking turd coming out of the, <laughs> the ass rocket. Okay, oh shit! That, oh, bad timing. Uh, oh, that's not good. Ass cannon. You blew it. it, you blew it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. 
Oh, follow me. Follow me. Congratulations. Follow me. It's a bill. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bull. <laughs> Look at him. When I get that Mario, oh, I'm gonna punch I'm him so hard. Pumping gonna, those fists like, whoa. So hard. Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, oh, damn it. Boy, oh boy. That is really tough. Fucking Christmas, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Man, I did not see that coming! I- I closed my eyes for one second because I got something in my eye. And like, when I opened it, like, the bullet is like two inches from you and you're like, SHIT! <laughs> <laughs> so fucking funny. It did not move. No! D I, I, th I think you gotta turn around, dude, because he sinks into the ground at that same spot every time. Oh, that's really fu- that's really- that really gets my goat, Dan. Mm hmm I know. That really grinds my gizzles. I'm- well, that- uh, that's too bad. I'm, like, really sorry to hear that. <laughs> but you get your fucking gizzles under control. I'm, like, really sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wow. Bummer. I can kill these fucking dry bones and they won't bother me anymore, and now I can run around and get all the star bits and it'll be cool, and that's the end of this song. It's still going, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more up there? Fuck, man. God damn it. <laughs> sick of this- Sick of this mission! I hate it! Here we go, pumping his fist. Don't sink, don't mad. sink, don't sink, don't sink. Oh, come on! Oh, and it killed me! Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Shit! Ow! God damn! Looks like we- Yep, looks like it's a little bonus grumps time, baby. Oh, feck! <laughs> Is that the only thing you're trying to do this entire level? Yes. <laughs> well, I got through the first part of the level, which was, you know... Which was what? It, oh, man, you have no idea how tough that was. No! Oh, no! <laughs> wow. My life is in shambles, Dan. <laughs> it's, it's hard to watch, dude. It's, it's hard to play. <laughs> No! You fucking bullet bill piece of shit! And I feel bad too, cause God, I was right. Oh, I can't yell anymore. What if um? I don't have it in me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm hmm. This last one has to be the fucking one. I, how am I messing this up? It's so easy. Is it? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody's shouting at me. That's good. Shit! Shit! Keep it. Oh, this is no, good. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, 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 here comes oh, one. Here comes one. Yay! Oh, Aaron, I'm proud oh, of you. No, it's all the way oh, up there. Okay. I gotta fucking do this shit again. What could maybe go wrong? Every, nothing. Mm. It's fine. It's just, it's another fucking. I gotta press the button again and get, get out of here, man. <laughs> I'll just explode you myself. Yeah. It's not like I'm gonna die. I'll block you with my face. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Next time on Game Grumps. <laughs> That was a trial and a tribulation. <laughs> Baby, now we got bad blood. <laughs> now we got problems. We used to be mad love. <laughs> <laughs> you made a really deep cut. <laughs> oh, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. That song is Woo. really good. I can't believe you've never heard that song before. No, dude, why? Because why- why have you heard it? It's because it's on the radio all the time. Why would you listen to the radio? I don't know. I heard it had Mariska Hargitay in the video, so I watched it. Oh, is that what you say when someone sneezes? <laughs> <laughs> it's your- it's Hargitay. <laughs> That's actually from the left group. Oh. Mariska Hargitay. I- so... Aaron played that song for me just now, and he was like, you have to fucking hear this Be shit. Because it sounds like... It was- it was made up on the spot. Yeah. That's yeah. what the lyrics sound like. Yeah, they do. It's so fucking... It's not even metered out, like, correctly. Yeah, like, exactly. You made a really deep cut! <laughs> it's like the kind of shit that, like, if you were making it up as you went along, like, you'd be like, uh, uh let me try that one again. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. I do that shit all the time, when I'm fucking making up songs. <laughs> and it's a mistake, and I'm like, ah, oh, whoops. Oh, that sounded weird. Shit, I guess. Alright. Mm. Well, it's recorded, so we might as well fucking produce it all to shit and make it sound <laughs> decent. I mean, she can sing. But yeah, I I'm, mean, she... but you can't tell at all from 
her songs. She's, like, she's not writing the music. That shit is so, so processed. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Is that a, is that a stab at the music entertainment industry? No, I mean, like, fucking make music however you want, but, like, I... I, I like the human voice. Oh, damn. I do, I do. <laughs> like, and I know that, like... I'm not, like, trying to sound pretentious or anything. It's just, like, that's what it appeals to me. Like, there, there were certain times, like... Like, when Daft Punk and Air started doing talk boxy stuff, I was like, this is really fucking cool. You know? And robot -y vocals. Yeah. But then, then when that kind of became the norm, then it was like, oh, I miss just a person singing. Oh, yeah. You know? And you listen back to Nirvana, uh, and, and groups like that, and... Like, God, these guys were fucking awesome singers. They yeah. just had great voices. Yeah, well, you had to back then. It's true. It's true. You did... Was, that was a really deep cut uh, you just made, Dan. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Taylor. I didn't mean to hurt... hurt your... <laughs> yeah, well, now, now you and her have got bad blood. Yeah. It's a shame, because I remember a time when Taylor and I would hang out, and it would just be mad love the whole time. <laughs> I'd be like, Taylor, I- I mad love you. And she'd be like, uh, yeah, Taylor Swift things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I- I've never listened to her, I don't know what she sounds like. And she doesn't- she's adorable, man, I love her. I'm sure- I'm sure she's lovely. Um, but now you have problems, and I don't think you can solve them. She- Taylor Swift is really, like, she's- She's America's sweetheart. Right, she's incredibly, like, commercially- viable in, in in every way you know because she's she's very pretty she's blonde but like she's super attractive but like not like in a slutty way you know yeah um uh but she also is kind of like she says things that are kind of like ooh naughty you know like it's just very very um good pr people working for her yeah for sure is her actual last name Swift? I don't know. Cause that's a really cool last name. I mean, it's probably not. It's probably fucking Schwartz. <laughs> <laughs> Some Jewish thing. Leibowitz. Yeah, Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, but yeah, I've never really listened to her music, but she seems- she seems like a very nice person. She did that song that's like... Shake- sh Uh... Shake it... Shake... I forget how it goes. <laughs> shake, 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 Sinora, <laughs> shake it all the time. Well, it's like, it's like, haters gotta hate, 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 oh, hate. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's her? That's yeah. Taylor Swift? Okay. Shake it up! Shake it up! <laughs> I feel like fucking someone's dad when I'm like, oh, why is it the kids are listening to? <laughs> the Swifty Tales! <laughs> <laughs> Swift tailing. It's just like, God, like. I, l I listen to my fucking classic rock and weird music, and um, I I get all up into like writing my own shit, and I just like forget to pay attention to what's going on in like culture. So things will come and go, and everyone will know them except me. And then like two years later, I'm like, Have you heard that song with the pumped up kicks? <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Have you heard that Korean song with that guy and he's like a horse? Gagum style? Yeah. Gagum? He's singing about hope. Hope, hope, hope. Hope of Gangnam style. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't understand get it. the children. I don't. I just. Ever since I got three of my hands blown off in the Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I was born a freak with three hands, and, and I got them all yeah, blown off! The first one got blown off in combat, and I was like, Oh, that's pretty good, actually! <laughs> <laughs> this might work out, and then the other two blew off, and I was like, Oh, damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch! So close! <laughs> <laughs> to living a normal life! <laughs> now I really should just tell people I was like a normal, two-handed person. <laughs> but I got two of my hands blown off, but I keep fucking it up! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, shit, fuck. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man. Oh god in heaven. That is funny. So Taylor, if you're watching this and clearly you want to date both of us, yeah. uh, Aaron's married and I'm probably too old for you. <laughs> so, but still. I don't even know how old she is. She's definitely younger than I am. She's probably 24, I think. For some reason, I just imagine her to be like the sweetest person on the planet. Oh like, wait, isn't 1984 the year that she was- no, 1989, the year that she was born? Because like, that's what her album's called. Oh. I believe that's the reason the album's called Well, that, that makes sense. So that would make her what? 25. 25, yeah. 20 26. 26, yeah. yeah. Nah, whatever. So some damn thing. <laughs> ah, I understand the kids and their ages these yeah. days. What are you doing oh. being 26? <laughs> did, uh, did you blow Oh, already? that's right. You're supposed to throw them where the fucking gold parts are. Yeah, did are. you not? Have you not been doing that? I forgot. Aaron, I just forgot. I thought you were just like I thought you just had terrible aim. Okay. Right, here we go. Cool. Blow up all this trash for me. You want to do my job for me for free? Okay, sure. Yeah. Sounds great. And 26 is not too old for me, by the way. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's too old for me? 13. Anything. Because <laughs> I'm married. I should not have said 13. That was incredibly <laughs> inappropriate. I just didn't think it Whoa, through. not cool, Dan. Yeah, it's not. It's not at all. Uh, can, give me the fucking bomb. Give me the bomb. You blew it. All There's right. not enough time to do it in this amount of time. Oh, maybe you can. Wait, hold on. Uh, is it gonna blow up the other one? Yeah. Oh, oh you. S Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, you know what you need to do? What's that? Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Hey, it's gonna hey, 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 Love to masturbate, babe, 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 babe. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. No! You fucking! Ooh, ah, e, ooh, ooh, ah, e, ooh, ooh, ah, you, ah, we. Explode, 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 explode! No! What? Ruru! Hi! It's just like me sitting there with an angry face, completely still, and then just. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, I, I think I got this one. Oh, there's, yeah. there's a method to it. Yeah, there is. So you grab this and you uh -huh. throw it up there. Yep. You grab this and you throw it up there. You blah, grab this blah, one. Blah, and you blah, throw blah, it over blah, there. Blah, 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 blah. And you grab this one. You've already failed. And you throw it over there. No, but then see, then you grab this one and throw it over there. <laughs> fuck, 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 go! Oh, no! Wait, you can still do it. No, uh, ha! Huh, no, oh. I, if you throw it with 10 seconds left, it, the last one will explode. Really? It takes so long. Wait, explode, 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 explode! <gasps> Did I do it? Oh! Woo! Yeah! yeah! Oh, wow. That was close. Oh, take this as my thanks. I found it lying around. Maybe it'll help you. It's, it's a Hugo Award. <laughs> <laughs> Have I asked you the barf question? What's the barf question? I'll ask you next time on Game Boy. No, no, no. Well, because we had a lot of walking around at the beginning, so let this balance it out. This will be a little treat. All right. Have I asked you the barf question? I... no, I just said no. <laughs> is right. the barf question you're asking me, have I asked you the barf question until I barf? Okay, here's the- what the fuck is going on here? Oh. Damn. So, here's the barf question. Okay. If I barfed on you... Yeah? ...every day at the same time... <laughs> yeah? How many times would it take for you to get really pissed off? Oh, you have asked me this yeah. a long time ago. And I gave an answer, like, that made you be like, Whoa, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it- And my answer is unchanged. I think it's like seven? Seven times? Yeah? Yeah. You're like, dude, I'd get pissed off after, like, two. <laughs> nah, for me, it'd, it'd probably be three. Three? Yeah. Yeah, three is fair enough. Three or four. Well, cause like... I feel like the first five or six times can be chalked up to like, man, is he okay? Like, maybe he's going through some real problems. Six. Yeah. Every day, dude. Every day. So Every you'd day. after day three, you wouldn't say that? No, I'd be like, dude, are you all right? Because that's a pattern. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. Yeah, at some point you gotta wonder if it's just a passive aggressive bar. Yeah, because day three is like. <laughs> Is is like are you whoa dude are you okay like you should seriously see a doctor and then day four is like 
dude, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, lot of, it's a lot of same time barfing. Yeah, and then day five, I feel like you would you would be like, "All right, dude, <laughs> fucking stop! All right, I told you to get help. You didn't get help. Now you need to g go to the doctor, man." Yeah, and then by day seven, I'm like, Th "This is enough. I've had enough." And then by day eight, I'm like, "Eh." Yeah, <laughs> I guess it's my life now. Yeah, just accept it. The Stockholm syndrome for the barf. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, I guess I have to use the I keep wearing the same crusty t-shirt to work. <laughs> 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 like, you normally change your clothes. Yeah. But after- <laughs> after I've barfed on it, you're like, <laughs> I guess these are my clothes now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess I'll just work this into my natural weekly barf rotation. Um, I have something to show you, Dan. Oh, I'd love to see it. This is how I jack my dick off. <laughs> this is like my dick over here, and this is how I jack it off. What? <laughs> It's like my dick. <laughs> that's- <laughs> that's what you- That's what you wanted to show me? Yeah. And then when I You get know, before the episode started, you were like, Hey. <laughs> let's start the episode. I got something. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, awesome! I got something to open up the episode with that you're well, gonna be super excited We'll start for. this one off with a bang. <laughs> oh, man. Blood oh, blood shit, blood. it's Luigi! Yeah, there he is, right there. Boom jams! <laughs> ah! ah! What the fuck was that? <laughs> Jesus, you could have found could've another just, way. Yeah, get the key and unlock the cage. <laughs> you want this power star? Only if you tell Rosalina I found this one. Jesus, get late on your own time, Luigi. <laughs> We're trying to fucking save the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> just pass that message on to Rosalina, okay? Yeah. Aren't you dating Daisy? Yeah, can't you just talk to her yourself? You're a grown ass man with a mustache. Oh, no, I, I, she, I, I. You usually see her much more than uh, Luigi, too. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that. Do you think that having sexual intercourse with God would be like the best thing ever? Yeah, I think it'd be pretty good. Yeah? Well, it depends. Do you believe God is a man or a woman? Or a concept? Or a. Or an all-knowing force. Well, personally, I would like to imagine that God is a woman. If, if in the case of, if it were a of personified, the yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, I mean, I'd have sex with woman God. I'd have sex with dude God. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have sex with concept God. <laughs> concept God knows what's up. You just lay back. He knows and you're concepts. Like, whoa, whoa. Damn. I, I mean, conceptually, this sex is yeah. great. I didn't think I'd be thinking about how I was raised. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was getting my ds <laughs> By God. <laughs> By, like, a cloud uh, yeah. shape color. You, you created this day. Damn Aaron. it! What? <laughs> that was silly. It's because you said that you created this D and it distracted me. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever gone up to somebody and they're, and they're like, Hey, oh, what's your name? And you go, My name's Dan with a big D. <laughs> I have never, but like, I did have a friend, uh, I won't say his name, but like, I caught, he had a name that began with D, and I was like, what's up Big D? And he was like, don't call me that, I'm very sensitive about my weight. And I was like, it's because the capital D in your name. He was like, oh, well in that case, shut up. <laughs> I, I, like, call you, I call you talk. Big D because you have a big dick. And, and that... Is awesome that you know that. How do you know that? <laughs> How would I not know that? You write songs about it. Well, that could be overcompensation. Like, that's just you can't take a guy's word on the size of his dick. <laughs> like, who's gonna be like, oh yeah, I got got me a tiny floppy micro penis. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Like Whoa! A, oh, oh shit! It was right there! Don't go for star bits, dude. I'm, I'm, well, you know... <laughs> I'd stop. You know I'm right. You're not the one playing it. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another oh, episode of Game Grumps! Sorry. Okay, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> and we're the Game Grumps! Hello. Okay! Whoops. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> this is a preview of coming attractions. Yeah. You're gonna be seeing a whole lot more of this. God. Whoa. God, it's so fucking janky, I hate it. D is it really? It's so janky, dude. It feels like it'd be a smooth ride. Nope. Nope, not at all. It's janky as fuck. And you just don't get a, 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 like a feeling of... Just stay towards the middle, you'll be alright. <laughs> 
Dan. Just stay on the water. <laughs> That'd be cool. Just complete the course. There is, uh... Easy. There was this guy at the place I used to live in Jersey City. Uh, he was like the doorman of the building. Not a doorman, but like kind of like the watchman guy. His yeah. name was Johnny, and he was just... His name is Night Owl. Yeah, he was super chill. Ooh, it does narrow. It does narrow oh up a little God. here. Um... It's fucking waves. Johnny was super chill. And, uh... Like, every time... Every time you tell him about anything in your life, his answer was like, Hey, you'll be alright. Like, really? and, fuck it, yeah. So, it... He'd be like, What's up there, Danny boy? And I'm like, I'm cool, Johnny. Uh, like, I'm a little bummed out. I, you know, I just... Going through a tough breakup, and, uh, my legs got smashed to, in an elevator fall, and... Um, I'm dying. I'm actually dying. He's like, yeah, you'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Wow. Sometimes you just need to be told that. Yeah, honestly. Like, I he's get it. Oh, didn't have the best time, though. Yeah, but whatever. I remember when I was really young, they wanted to call me AJ, my family. And then that stuck for maybe a day. Because of Aaron Joseph? Yeah. And then that was that. My fa- my- people in my town called me AJ, but it was short for a JEW! <laughs> really? No. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. I grew up in a mostly Jewish neighborhood. So Jews they, tend to cluster together. So they called everyone AJ. Yeah, exactly. You have to take a couple leaps of faith here. Wahoo! <laughs> yeah. Yippee! God, what is this reminding me of? Something about watching things materialize like that. It's like a Disney attraction or something. Yeah, it's- it's- it's... Shit. I don't know if it's a video game or a movie or... Like a drug trip I had in the 90s. I can tell you about my 90s drug trip. Tell me. Uh... uh enlighten me, guy I, who's never done drugs. I, uh... I saw... Goats? Yeah, that's what happens. I, uh... A, uh, a friend... <laughs> a fr an old friend said hi. You know when you touch boobs and they're like, uh, bags of sand? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, of course they had to make this hard, and weird, and I, not cool. I turned into a trucker for a day. That's, yeah. like, that's like normal. For yeah, a that's what truck, happens. Right? Great job, Aaron. You fucking did it. Thanks. You fucking did it. It was not that hard, actually. Not drugs. You obviously patience. never did drugs, but... No, I used to do it all the time in the 90s. Here's a drug that I've done. Jack and Coke. <laughs> Jack. Drug, right? Jack, <laughs> Jack and Coke? That's yeah. when... You get- you pour coke on your jacket and you- you lick it off? Is that right? <laughs> and you get high? Guys? Yeah. I know what you're talking about. And Every, I'll everyone about in it. the room is like, he's a cop! And like, fucking everyone yeah, runs. NARC! <laughs> <laughs> he knows what Jack and Coke is! <laughs> Fuck. Do, do, don't you remember, like, when we were setting up our schedules and Susie was like, Fuck September! <laughs> I was like, yes. I'm right there with you. <laughs> she, she was like, let's not, let's not schedule anything more for September. And then we all looked at our planners and we're like, We can't I don't possibly. We, <laughs> you, it's, it's even a thing that can happen. It's, uh, it's crazy, man. So. I love it, though. I love staying busy. <sighs> I'm cool. On, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm too We're mind. in agreement, then. <laughs> I- I agree, but also, I do, like... The, the way my creativity works is I'm very spontaneous. Right. So, if I don't sort of have that time to just kind of dick around... Right. ...then good stuff isn't gonna come out as, as much. Yeah. It's true. So... Like, like, yesterday, I was just like... Uh... I was in the office, and Ross and Barry... Uh, we're recording some episodes, so I had like a free like two hours. So I was like, oh man, and so I drew some stuff. <sighs> and that was that. Sounds lovely. Yeah, it was great. I want to draw. Yeah, I can teach you. No, you can't. Why? No one can. Why? It's forever. I'm. I'm just the worst. That you, you dude, drawing is so easy. Yeah, when you can draw. But you can learn to draw. This is the reverse conversation that we've had about singing a thousand times. Well, I'm learning to sing, though. Right. And I'm getting better at it. Oh, yeah. Why don't you get better at drawing? Well, because, uh, that wouldn't prove my point. 
<laughs> what point do you want to prove that you won't draw when you want to? Yeah. The hell's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> well, in, I um. Look, once I finish reading drawing on the right side of the brain, uh huh, I'll probably be able to teach you some cool stuff. Really? Yeah. Like Stop. being able to hit the same cannonball five God. times in a row. Stop! <laughs> that is amazing to That's watch. Annoying. <laughs> All right, I can I can teach you to draw, dude. Really? Yeah. Okay. God fucking damn it! <laughs> so fucking ridiculous. No. This uh, is like an endless wall of. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think anybody can draw. Yeah, you do. And it's true. C could you not draw at all, like when you started? Of course. Do you think I came out the pussy drawing fucking I, Mozart? I do. <laughs> I do think that yeah. thing you said. You gotta, you gotta, it's, I only can draw because I was drawing, like, the moment I picked up a pencil. Oh, boy. It, it's just practice. It's a skill. It's not a talent. I do, you know what? I do have to say, I watched some of your early, like, um, Oh, Metal, yeah, they're bad. Metal Gear Awesome shit. It's terrible. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, but you've come a long, long way. You really have. F for sure. Uh, to, to be fair... That was intentionally well, goofy. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't matter, because, you know, I'm only as good as I am right now, but... Uh, yeah, that was- that was intentionally bad. Right. <laughs> like I used the word goofy. You can just say it looked horrible. No, I mean, it looked- it looked adorably goofy. Sure. In a ho like a horrible way. I, uh... <laughs> so, the, when I released Metal Gear Awesome, uh, Tom Fulp, the creator of Newgrounds, who's a really good guy, and, uh, is possibly to blame for my entire career. Right. Uh, to blame. <laughs> yeah. Responsible You fucking for did this, Tom Fulp. Thank career. you. <laughs> uh, I released Metal Gear Awesome, and then he featured it on Attack of the Show. Uh, he- I didn't know he had anything to do with that. He and Kevin Pereira, I guess, were, like, pretty good friends. Oh, that's awesome. Or something like that. Uh, I don't re really remember, but... He was on Attack of the Show, and he would show up as a guest every so often to, like, promote Newgrounds videos. And he promoted uh, Metal Gear Awesome, and I was like, "Whoa!" And then in the, in the video, he's like, <laughs> "He's like, this is a, a really funny video, and it proves that you don't really need good visuals to tell good jokes." <laughs> and, then, and then he sent me an email, and he was like, "I'm so sorry. I uh, said that. that was really mean." That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and I was like, "No, dude, it's was, it was amazing." Here's an example of something that's terrible and good. <laughs> yeah. Boy, it was a really smart idea for us to, uh, expose 20 minutes of ourselves every day, unfiltered. Oh yeah, this will haunt us forever. I can't wait until something, when I'm 35, or 40, and then people are like, Oh, you remember that thing that you said when you were 26? Oh, that sure. That is recorded in Infamy Forever and is one of the most popular episodes of Game Room? Do you remember that? People wait a still, second. People still make fun of me because of that tweet that I made. Which one was that? In like 2001, I was like, if I ever make a Let's Play, kill me. Oh, is that, did you really? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so, um... People still reply to it, and they're like, <laughs> Idiot! Hypocrite! <laughs> and it's like, I, you know I've publicly acknowledged that tweet like a million times. Yeah, yeah. So, what made you change your mind, uh, to become a hypocrite? <laughs> <laughs> well, Dan, I've always been a hypocrite. <laughs> right. It's just, uh... I don't know. I thought it would be fun. And honestly, I think you know, you've stayed friends. completely true because you do a Let's Play, and after almost every game group session, you're like, <laughs> fucking kill, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I never thought of it that way. <laughs> yeah, you fucking- That's You've it. totally <laughs> stayed true to your word. <laughs> <laughs> never in my life have I said that more than starting oh, to do God, game yes. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that really makes me feel <laughs> warm and fuzzy inside. I'm so glad you told that story on stage. <laughs> oh, uh, the the one, yeah, the one at uh, PAX. Yeah. Yeah. Um. We've told it on the show. Yeah. Big shout out, love to the people who came to our PAX panel. That was yeah, that, that was, was wild. That was a great panel. Although it's a funny thing too, because I guess PAX, like it was, I don't want to say sold out, but like it was a packed panel. Like they weren't letting any more people in. But I guess, like, part of their rules are, like, they leave, like, the 
10 front rows open for like PAX people, you yeah. know, and industry folks, which is a very smart move. Like they should do that, but they don't fill that space in if like industry people don't show. So like, it's the weirdest thing, like on the videos Ross put up on Instagram, like we're walking out on stage and you hear like these, <laughs> These screams and cheers, and then like he looks out into the audience, and there's like just chairs. So it just looks like we fucking like we sweetened the fucking like <laughs> background noise. Like oh yeah, there were tons of people there. Wow, I didn't know that. They loved us. Was that on purpose? What do you mean? Like the 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 whole like looking like there was nobody there. In no, the video. Ross is just it that way. Ross is just brilliant. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. Ross was like, I'll focus on the empty chairs instead of like the packed rows behind. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> it's super funny. It's a, uh, it's I, classic O'Donovan. I didn't even notice that. It's probably because I, uh, it's probably because I didn't, I, I, I was, I, I was in one of my moods before. Oh yeah. <laughs> the panel. Right, right before Aaron goes on stage, he's like, you have your head in your hands. And, and like a guy comes up to you, and he's like, <laughs> Hey man, can I get you anything? <laughs> it, it, what'd you say? Uh, like, I'd like a high tree and yeah, a noose. A noose and a dramatic tree. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy came over to me afterwards, and he was like, Is, a is Aaron okay? Like, and I was like, Yeah, he, when he's like this, just leave him alone. He'll just give him some space, he'll be fine. <laughs> I just like to imagine what's going on in that guy's mind when like he, he experiences that and then I go on stage and I'm like Woo! Hey everybody! <laughs> like, like, he's living a lie. He's <laughs> well, no, that's the funny thing because like you, you You force yourself to be like that for like three seconds and then you hear the crowd and you see him and you're like Oh now yeah. you're and I actually am energized But like yeah, that, that was it was very funny to watch you to go through that. Oh, that's good stuff. You're pretty much my champion. You're my special dude. People, uh... People like to be like, oh man, Aaron's... he's... Oh man, he must be so depressed or something. I've, I've always been like that. Yeah, no, like, I remember... The years and years I've been like, I've, I've, I've been like, oh man, I just, I just, I don't care, I'll just, I just, whatever. Well, there are times, like... I, I hope this isn't like saying too much, but like I remember when we came back from a convention years ago I won't say which one but like you didn't get to enjoy yourself because it was just too crazy and You had too much businessy stuff to do and you were really upset and on the drive to the airport We're all in the car together and like you were like really quiet and like your eyes were like wide open And you were like <laughs> staring out at nothing and I was like Dude, you alright? And just like got no response whatsoever, like not even like a blink. You're just like somewhere else. And I looked at Susie and I was like, is this is this alright? And she was like, he's totally fine. Just give him some time. <laughs> and <laughs> And that was when we didn't know each other as well. And now now I've become the he's totally fine, don't even worry about it guy. <laughs> 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 oh, I love you, buddy. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. Oh, man. Yeah, whenever I see those headphones on, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll talk to him in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, babies. All right, next time. Peace. Bro, <laughs> I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture sounds where I am. Help me. It kind of looks like his mustache is his mouth, and he's like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that is. Yeah, I don't and I don't it. care. Cool. Where is that place? It looks familiar. But then again, you're already like walking away. Yeah. Let me give me this. <laughs> <laughs> Does that look like a level that you know? Oh boy. N no, it doesn't. Yeah, absolutely not. Okay. I'm gonna go home to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go home and fuck my wife. <laughs> Honey. Yes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Did you order the pizza? I thought you were loading the pizza! You bitch! <laughs> Whoa, that took a dark turn. Oh, he was punching the wall. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I called you a bitch! <laughs> Me too! Ha 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 ha! Next time, at home with the toads. <laughs> oh. oh no. The, my, my favorite uh, thing is when, um. <sighs> what's the word? 
when like there's a really like not funny joke in a comedy club and nobody laughs, and then there's the one like <coughs> that's the best. <clears throat> oh God, Ninja Brian and I have been very fortunate. Like, a, there, we got well received at most of the clubs we played in our early days in well, that's New York. Because you're funny. Oh, thanks, man. But I mean, like. We're also weird, you know, so like it's not for everybody and I, I can definitely remember well comedy's not for everybody That's true. I mean look there's some fucking lame-ass comics that I don't find funny, but like the whole world finds them funny I know right Dane Cook so just kidding bro met you loved you He's I'm the a, best. I'm a huge Dane Cook fan. Hmm Especially his voice. Um <laughs> I have come to appreciate the uh The the quality of a joke, right? Right. Like, it's- it's- a joke is- is hard to construct. Right. Like, it's- it's a clever thing, and not only does it have to be this certain sort of formula, but it also has to be funny. Right. Because you can make all kinds of things that- that follow the formula, and they're not funny. Mm-hmm. Um, fuck. You motherfucker, you need 80 foot. you f piece of shit. <laughs> uh, so, I've come to appreciate that. Right. So, when- when Chris, Oni, and G was down, and uh, and Spaz Kid Corey, right, uh, were down at my place. We would have we would watch like internet videos, and then we'd play Find the Joke. <laughs> <laughs> we would we would watch some internet videos and be like, "There's got there's there has to be a joke here," and a lot of them would not have jokes. Right. And I was like, "Wow, that's that's pretty impressive." How like we've sort of we sort of developed this new sense of humor on the internet, right? Where it's just it's like. I don't know how to describe it. Just weird randomness? Y yeah, it's- it's- it sort of stems from, like, social weirdness, or, mm -hmm. like, anxiety or something, or, yeah. like, non-sequiturs, uh, a lot of the time. For I sure. Say. But then- but then when I- when I hear a joke, it, it's like, whoa! That was a joke! Yeah. Very nice! Well, I mean, it can be anything. I mean, like, we were talking about- we were watching the Eric Andre show before, and that shit is just nothing but non sequiturs, yeah. and it's fucking hilarious to me. So I don't know. I, I like. I always have trouble with like global pronouncements yeah. when it comes to comedy, you know, because there's yeah. just always like a thousand exceptions to the rule and that's, shit like that's that. That's absolutely true. Yeah. I, I just think like. I feel like in order to understand comedy, you should first understand a joke. Right. Like what a joke consists of and why it's funny, right? Right. Um, and then you can sort of start breaking the rules. It's sort of like learning anatomy before you start drawing. <laughs> it's like you're learning anatomy before you start killing people and stuffing them in your fridge. You know what I'm saying? That was a joke, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm not saying I'm the fucking joke master, I'm just saying... Yeah. No, I'll say it. You're the joke master. Look, man. Cause you also get like those super old school comedians who are like still alive from like the 40s and 50s. Oh yeah. Who are like, I got a thousand jokes for every hour of the day. And they're all terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Uh, we sort of out have outlived jokes, right? I don't know. You were the one saying how great they are. What? No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> not jokes in general. I mean, certain jokes. Oh. Right? Oh, like, yeah. Like if you watch like an old stand up bit from like the 40s, you're oh, like, oh, this yeah. isn't super funny anymore. Well, yeah, because comedy like builds on itself over time, you know, like, and things push the envelope. Like The Simpsons were insanely cutting edge, uh, when Bart would just say something like, eat my shorts, you know? And what the hell, man. Like, that would get you fucking sent home from school when I was a kid, like, if you wore a what the hell, man t-shirt. Um, <laughs> and now South Park practically will show you, uh, a man shitting into another man's face, and you're just like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's where we're at that's right par now. for the course. Well, I just mean jokes in general, right? Like... I don't know, have you ever opened up like a 40s joke book? No, it's but like, I would love to. How do you get... How do... How do you get a squirrel out of a kitchen? A, a, a woman, you know? It's like, it's like <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Jokes from the 40s. Let's look some of this up. There you go. From the... Wow, jokes from the 1940s came right up. Yeah. I, I, I thought of that because there's a book that I read a long time ago that was like a 40s joke book. No shit. Yeah. It was very like, uh... Just reading through it, I was like, some of them aren't even jokes. 
are these the funniest 1940s jokes? The hottest collection of 1940s jokes. The sickest, most outrageous 1940s jokes. <laughs> what the hell is this website? <laughs> Check this one out. Oh man, this is gonna be racist as fuck. Oh yeah. Jesus, this is from like 1943 when it's like right in the heart of like the war against Japan oh and- god. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um... Mr. and Mrs. Brown, an elderly couple who lived in the heart of London, were sitting quietly in their home when an air raid siren warning sounded. Uh, in the din of the siren, Mr. and Mrs. Brown rushed off for the nearest air raid shelter. Suddenly, Mrs. Brown stopped, turned, and started to retrace her way back to her home. Mr. Brown asked what was wrong. I have forgotten my teeth, said Mrs. Brown, and I'm going back to get them. What do you need your teeth for, barked Mr. Brown. What do you think the Nazis are throwing, sandwiches? I, um... <laughs> are you serious? I just, like, I just fucking made that up off the top of my head. Wow. From the pocketbook of war humor, 1943. Are, are you dead serious? I, okay. That was the joke. Alright, this one's from... This one's from 1870. Holy shit. An exchange gets off the following horrible con. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even understand what? that for... Uh... Oh. Why is an empty champagne bottle like an orphan? Because it's lost its pop. Aww. <laughs> That's from the Hokey Pokey joke book. <laughs> that is depressing. Oh boy. Um... From 1906. I'm troubled with cold feet, doctor, said the sallow-complexioned man. Yeah. What would you suggest? A ton of coal, answered the MD, unhesitatingly. Two dollars, please. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What the fuck? Is there a point? All right, is there a point in time? Wow, that was from Wit and Humor of the Physician, 1906. Oh. Is there a, is there a time where, like, it loops back on itself and those start to become funny again? Uh, I don't know. I could barely understand the words, like... What's the name of this mission? Bubble Blast Off. Women are like dead bodies for surgeons to work upon because they tell a man his imperfections. Wow. Jeez. That was from Conceits, Clinches, Flashes, and Whimsies, 1639. 1639?! Oh my god. That's what? crazy. That's... Th that can't be 1639. It says it right here. Shakespeare Jet. Oh no. This book is actually contained within a reprint collection, Shakespeare Jest Books, 1864. Wow. Dude, when they said dead bodies for surgeons to work upon, work is spelled W-O-R-K-E. To work hey upon. Yeah, god damn. I used to be really into Perkins pancakes. Oh my god, Perkins. Perkins. That is some South action right there. Yeah. I told you my Perkins story, right? The... Ooh, no. The- the one where, like, we were on tour, like, with my band in my, like, early 20s, and we stopped at- oh, no. Sweet. Yikes. We stopped at a Perkins and, uh, it, it just outside of Birmingham, Alabama. Did you get the- did you get the pancakes? We got the stink eye from everybody in there. Oh, because you looked like a band? Yeah, because we were a bunch of friggin' long-haired, skinny, liberal Jewish hippies from the north. <laughs> it's like Northerners! The, it's like the perfect storm. Of what's not appreciated in rural Alabama. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. That's all right. Did you order the pancakes though? Yeah, yeah, we did. They're good. It was also, I guess, I didn't know this, but there are certain parts of the Bible Belt where cursing is like extremely looked down upon. Yeah. And uh, so like people are already giving us like the eye, and uh, the uh, bassist of our group, who is probably the most chill of everyone, he was like. Man, whose dick do I have to suck to get some fucking pancakes around here? And just like, dead silence in the restaurant, and you hear like a fork drop and hit the plate. <laughs> oh, that was... Ting, ting, ting. Yeah, that was scary. I will say though, pancakes do not taste any better or worse when they are filled with hatred. So, just remember that. That's a good point. Yeah, it's still the batter, no matter what. They and they wanted to batter us. They are delicious. <laughs> just take us out back and beat the living shit out of us. Oh, man. I almost slapped the Jew out, you boy. <laughs> I'm sorry you had that experience at a Perkins. I feel like- I feel personally responsible. Oh, no, you shouldn't. Because I'm vouching for the place. It was just like- It was just I, like Friendlies of the South. I will but say- not friendly. 
I will say, I've never had anything but the pancakes there, mm -hmm. so their food might be disgusting. Could be. Can't remember. It was a long time ago. But I was very high. Uh... Which the, means the pancakes probably tasted excellent. Yeah. I still haven't, um... Is there a pancake place in, in Portland or Seattle? I would assume yes. Okay, well, <laughs> they like, are major metropolitan cities. Like a famous... Because oh. there are like really good ones here, and like, I'm trying to find like the most amazing pancake I've ever had. D it, w it wouldn't be the griddle? The, w see, the griddle is up there, right? <sighs> like, the griddle and Dupar's right now are, are up there for me. Watching you eat that griddle pancake stack was one of the most disgusting things I've ever witnessed with my own eyes. I had it in my fridge, and had it for breakfast, for four days <laughs> after you, we had eaten at the griddle. I never... God, it's on my... I think it was on the my old phone, which got thrown away, but like... Um... <laughs> I have pictures. The griddle is this place in LA, for anyone who doesn't know, that serves enormous pancakes. Giant. Like the size of half your body in a stack. They and, they, and you know what they do too is they, they rig it like a sitcom mm -hmm. where you go in and then you're you're like uh, Can I get a short stack and they're like short stack is in like two pancakes and they're like it's like uh, Like two or three and they're like yeah two <laughs> and, then, and they're like yeah, 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 I think I could do two and they're like oh you think <laughs> like they, 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 they aren't like that's really big, and you should probably only get one. It's really funny. It's really funny. <laughs> e each one, each pancake is the size of like a like a large pizza. Yeah. And uh, so I have a, a series of pictures of Aaron, s like smiling with the thumbs up in front of his like freshly served stack of pancakes, and then like what looks to be like one eighteenth of the pancakes eaten, and Aaron, like, with his head in his hands, just, like, fucking sweaty, and the hair matted to his forehead. <laughs> it's just weird, man, like... I don't know. Just... My tolerance for dickatry has gone so far down, yeah. especially in the last couple of years. That's- okay. This is going way back, mm -hmm. but there was, we did a Q&A, mm -hmm. where, um, I was saying, I feel like you and I have more patience in different areas. Okay. Um, and then afterwards, and I couldn't think of- Ooh, nice. Good job. I couldn't think of what you had less patience than me at. Uh-huh. Um, and you stopped me afterwards, and you were like, during that thing, I could tell you were thinking of something. But you didn't know what it was, and I remembered what it was. What? There's, I can jump right. Okay, it was. Uh, you have less patience than me for bullshit. Oh yeah, man. Of course. Like, just. And incompetence in general. Oh well. Like I can put up with a lot, but you're kind of like, no, nah, this is bullshit. I'm not gonna <laughs> deal with this anymore. <laughs> I well, I don't know. It- it depends on the circumstance. I definitely have very little tolerance for bullshit in the sense that, like, of, like, people being dicks. Yeah. Cause it's so easy to not be a dick. Mm -hmm. Just don't. <laughs> like, just- you- I mean, you know. You know what makes people feel good and what makes them feel bad. Don't do the things that make them feel bad. Yeah. Um... But yeah, in incompetence doesn't... bother me too much, except when, like, um... you know... Really important things are on the line, like someone's health, yeah. or you know, or, um, you know, in our case, like something that we've like planned and worked on for months in advance, you know, yeah. and then someone's just like fucking. <laughs> yeah, well, because it's not as important to them, so. Exactly. It's just you just get older. Yeah. And you're like, you know what? My time on this earth is limited. Yeah, that's. True. How much of it can I spend? And, and like, that's the weird thing too, because like, you kind of. When you're a kid, you're like, whatever, like, when people get older, they're old, you know, like, fucking, who cares? Uh, like, you've already lived your life, but it actually is kind of the opposite, you know, not, not that I'm old, but like, you know, you kind of start to feel like, wow, I have less time, you know? Yeah. Like, time is incredibly precious and fleeting. Yeah. And maybe I don't want to spend all goddamn day at the DMV. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was beautiful outside today. That kind of thing. That's, uh, that's something that I think occurred to me, uh, when I had listened to a talk from John Blow, the, the designer behind Braid, uh, the game Braid. Right. Um, he was like, 
he was doing a talk and he was like, you know, I'm the age that I am. I don't remember exactly what age it was, but it, it was like it was like late 30s or 40s. Mm -hmm. He was like, it took me three years to make Braid. My next game will probably take me like three to four years, and it's like, th there's only so many games in me from from this point on. And I'm like, Whoa, yeah, holy yeah. Crap. <laughs> there's like a finite amount of games I can make. Oh, so. I, I think about that with albums. Yeah, that's why like I kill myself to like work so hard and like try to crank out as much stuff as possible, because like it's not just it's not just like that time is fleeting in general, but it's like circumstances are fleeting yeah. and, and constantly uh, fluid. Um, you know, you just like I we for Starbomb, for instance, I rely on Brian and you, but like anything could happen in any one of our three lives that would you know prevent us from doing another album. So it's important to you know get cracking on that stuff. Mm -hmm. By the way, we've written nothing for the third Star Storm album. <laughs> that was a bad example, but you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you really want to put that out there? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. We, we, we've been crazy, crazy busy. Yeah. Well, I mean, whatever. I mean, everyone's got shit going on. Yeah, jeez. That's, that's just the way of the world. The, yeah, it's true. It's true. I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm going through something. I mean, like, people will notice the, during, like, the last... Well, they might not come out at the same time, but like during a seven episode chunk of Legend of Zelda and um, you know, this group of Mario uh, Galaxy, like I'm doing my best, you know, do, doing everything I can, but man, like more so than probably any period of my life, like I'm, I'm really exhausted, you yeah. know, like I'm experiencing some real like, um, like diagnosable exhaustion. Yeah. And it, it's it, it's weird how it creeps up on you, you know, like, because you you just you just go and go and go and go, and you're like, okay, more episodes this day, <clears throat> record a song tomorrow, and uh, whatever. It just five things every day, and then all of a sudden a couple of years fall off the calendar, and like, and then one day you wake up and you're like, I'm so tired, I I want to cry. <laughs> yeah. Like I I don't mean to get heavy. But, like, it really is, like, crazy intense lately. Nah, dude, I feel it too. Yeah. I just want to go into a mountain for, like, a year and yeah. just, like, draw all yeah. day. I... It's, it's... It, when you... I don't know. When you do so much stuff, your standards of... of, like, how you spend your time and the kind of work that you do are constantly growing. Right. They never go backwards. Right. So, you always expect more from yourself every day that you're alive. I never thought of it like that. It's it's kind of true though, because like, you um, you set you set like, wh whatever the bar you set at, like, if if you slack off, suddenly like you're like, oh fuck, I'm I'm below the bar. Yeah. And especially like, in the YouTube world where, and in the internet world in general where. You stop doing stuff for like two weeks, you will be forgotten. Mm -hmm. You know, like it, it's, it just is a constant thing. And then like, you know, it just it runs you dry a little bit. And that's why I'm so grateful, you know, that Kevin and Brian and you know, just everybody, Susie and Holly, and like everybody chips in like with the stream stuff. And it's it's just because like if we did that. Like, consistently, in addition to everything else, like... I don't know, man. I think my body would just shut down on yeah, me. Yeah, there would be a point where you'd just have to be like... Where you'd have, like, an actual breakdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, just because, like, you see... You see other people, um... Mostly through social media, living their lives. And you're like, oh, man. A life. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, that'd be nice to have. When's the last time I went outside and, and played frisbee with somebody? Yeah. God. Like, I, I fucking used to love doing that. This is the saddest episode of Mario <laughs> Galaxy. I'm so sorry, everybody. This is not how we generally feel. It's just it, we're having a day today. <laughs> Today's been a day. Yeah, it's, it's been emotional. But we're doing it. We're doing it for you guys. But yeah, and, and for ourselves, because, like, I... I I would feel like garbage if I fucking stayed home and did nothing today. Yeah, and I do love doing Game Grumps all the time. I don't want to give off the wrong impression. Yeah. But holy shit. It could be better than- GOD DAMN IT! <laughs>
Next time, next time on Game Grumps. <laughs> Clearly, you're in a good place, so it's okay. <sighs> you want to hug it out? Let's hug. Let's hug each other. It's a little too hot to hug. You're right. It's too hot. I'm gonna, but yeah, I'll rain check. Okay. Rain check on that hug. Yeah, for when it cools off in LA. Yeah. See you in five months. Oh, fuck. Now, you better catch that bunny, bitch. Shit, but I have this shell and I want to get that treasure chest. You've only got 26 oh, seconds. Fuck. Uh, I know. I'll do neither. <laughs> there's a treasure chest. Oh, there's the fucking bunny. Look at that. Oh, the bunny's in there. Ha ha. See? Oh, that's the other bunny. God damn. Shit. <laughs> fuck. Well, at least now I know where all the fucking bunnies are. Oh, boy. Oh, this level sucks. <laughs> Whoa, jumping is actually pretty good. I am not enjoying this. Catch both bunnies in four seconds. Do I it. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, he's stuck. Ah. Fucking bunnies. It's fine. You. F mm. It's not fine. It's not okay. You fucking bunny! I was right there. You piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna stab you when I get you. <laughs> Don't I'm, use that out of context. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna look into this hedgehog leprosy thing because I don't want to fake 911 tape. Oh my god! <laughs> don't give people ideas, dude. <laughs> Have we talked about this? The possibility that like, when they get that technology where they can just take enough words that you've said and make your voice say anything. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's awesome. Yeah, there like there's a sentence that you can say that has like every sayable syllable. Really? Yeah, they do like accent studies. It's a paragraph actually because there's a lot of words. Right. To fucking clear the pet. Come on, man! <laughs> oh. Can I like shoot him with my star bits? Oh, that's an idea. God, they're, they're so fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. It's like, oh! Wow, you wasted a lot of star bits too. Just kidding. You, I love you. Just call this episode the failure of Aaron Hansen. <laughs> I would actually love that. How many fucking episodes could that shit apply to? Oh my god. Hey, welcome back okay, to Game Okay, we're here, hello. Uh, I am... Mm -hmm. Uh, not asking Dan to do any favors for me. Yeah, specifically fucking you. What? Why would you even say that? God, what if we just fucked one day? Dude, you're so weird right now. <laughs> What is God, going on with you, man? Why is it weird, man? Just two bros fucking each other? Dude, what? <laughs> what? Just hanging out, going to a baseball game, fucking give each other hot blowies. Oh on my god! <laughs> <in> center field. <laughs> Whoa! Just jumping down onto the, the base paths. Dude! Alright, never mind. I've been hanging out with Ninja Brian too much. How could you say shit like that? I don't know. Man, messed up! You've... Aaron... <laughs> what? You do realize... That I have voice messages from you, saying like, <laughs> "Hey Dan, <laughs> <laughs> hey Dan, it's Aaron. Uh, listen, I just need you inside my asshole right now." <laughs> so, what did that really happen? Of course that happened. What? That happened like two years ago. Oh, man, you gotta send me that. Okay, it's on my old phone, but I'm sure I kept it because it made me laugh every time. You're like, listen, I know you're busy, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> Man, I used to be funny. Oh, god damn, dude. It's just- it's just hilarious that, like, how quickly we forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would totally still do that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Was it on Game Grubs that, like, shit, I can't remember. I think we were just talking. Fuck, I'm gonna- I'm gonna sound stupid if this was already on an episode. But I was like, oh man. You were like, what were you doing? I was like, you know, just... fucking jacking it with a fucking finger up my ass. And you were like, oh my god, have you done that? It's the best, right? <laughs> and I was like, what? No, actually, I've never- I've never done that. And then you were like, oh, cool. Me neither, I was just- <laughs> Just fucking around. <laughs> Oh 
but god. Then it made me fucking curious, and I'm like, god damn it. I don't, I'm busy, dude. I don't have time to be fucking sticking stuff up my butt for pleasure. I got a oh. life to live. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would have been perfect if it was if it was led up by Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> totally. And then you're just, just like going home and you're like, yeah. Is it? Is cut, it also <laughs> cut to me with an entire arm up my ass. <laughs> 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 Woof. Oh man. Sorry. Sorry for that image. <laughs> I hope that was on a Game Grumps episode because I want that recording. Shit, dude. I mean, well, we just made it. It's, it's just fine. Oh man. Christ. We're, if, it, if it wasn't a Game Grumps episode, we're gonna sound like super jackasses for laughing at our own jokes so hard oh twice. Oh my god. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's just, it was amazing because, like, because of how quickly you changed modes. <laughs> You're like, oh my god, it's the best, right? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, man, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> That's not at all the coolest. That's not what happens in my house. But, you know. But, you know, fucking... It does. <laughs> if, if you ever... Like, at least a pinky. <laughs> at least a pinky? <laughs> what, are you bargaining with me now? Well, I'm just saying. I, I don't know. Jeez, man, like... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you how many girls on Tumblr are just like, go on. Fucking <laughs> 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 polygrubs is going crazy right now. <laughs> Let's trust it. <laughs> on the recent episode of Game Grumps, we have a pinky situation. <laughs> Aaron was trying to convince Dan that it's totally awesome to <laughs> shove a pinky in your butthole. Well, I'm assuming it's while jerking off, not just because like you thought you're bored at work. You know what- you know what's really strange? Yeah, no, that would be weird to do that. <laughs> we have a very loyal audience. And an audience that's interested in the things that we say, and the- the things that we enjoy. So, like, whenever we mention, um, like a song or a video that we like, there's a good chance if you go to that YouTube song or video, you'll see a bunch of Grump fans mm -hmm. being like, Hey man, Grumps, yay, they brought me here. And that's really cool. So I wonder... <laughs> how many... Of our 2.6 million subscribers, we just got to shove a pinky up their asses if for the you very did, first time. If you did, please comment. Yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and tell us, tell us how it went. Cause yeah, yeah, let it, let us know. But you, you're gonna want to lube it up. You're gonna want to lube it. Like, get some, get some anal lubricant. Up. Well, this is- it's just personal lubricant. Yeah, Do personal. they make specifically anal lubricant? Yeah, you've never tried, uh, pure? Pure backdoor... This isn't- you know what, it's not important. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding, I've actually never used it, but I have seen it in sex shops. According to the thing on the, um, yeah, on the on. shelf, they have a very high rating as far as anal lubricants go. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is- is there like a... Is there like a... ASPCA of... Anal stuff. I believe the ASPCA helps animals. Like I said, <laughs> the ASPCA of anal stuff. <laughs> the anal anal sex pleasure country <laughs> association. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the right letters. Yeah, the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. So, no, I would not go to them for my anal lubricant needs, actually. You're lost. I think they'd be suspicious more than anything. Well, I'm just saying, is there an equivalent of that to anal lubricants? Because if they say they are highly rated, highly rated by what, Amazon? Oh, I- I think just, uh... There have to be, like, sex magazines out there, or, like, websites that- There's- there's no such thing as a sex website, Dan. I really don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. So, I'm- I don't think I'm gonna get 120 stars. All yeah. Right. I think I'm gonna cap it off at 100. That sounds great. And then, uh... And then I'll just go against Bowser. Yeah, that'd be great. That- that- that makes us pretty close, huh? Yeah. I feel like we did something similar with Sunshine, as well. What the fuck? There's vents there! There sure are. What the hell, brah? Oh, this is 
Everyone sucks a dick. Just go, Mario, Mario. We don't have time. <laughs> we really don't have time for you to fuck around with your stupid fucking acrobatics and shit. Uh, <laughs> no! No! That's the, they'll start you close to that, right? I don't think so. I think you have to redo the whole thing. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. This is very long. This the oh. Well, that one was pretty good. Frick, this level's out of control, dude. Is this gonna be one of the twenty that you are like? Fuck it. Give it one more shot. Fucking do this, man. All right, so this shit, I have to jump. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hoy, hoy. oh god, no. Oh. Whoa. Stop, please, no. This is banana stop, sandwiches. Please. I need this to stop. It has to stop. Okay. Oh god, oh god. Go, go, oh. go. Whoa, whoa, go. whoa. Don't fall. Don't fall. Whoa. Don't fall. Nice. Don't, no, go, 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 go. Uh, I don't. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. My fucking asshole is so pumped. <laughs> ah. ah. Go, 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 Mario, fuck. Uh, uh. Smash uh. that shit! Smash that shit! Uh, yes! No, I haven't gotten it yet, oh, don't cheer. God Someone in heaven. Someone fucking sneak up on me. Yeah! Uh. Wow. That took five fucking minutes, yeah, dude. that was brutal. That's a five minute stage you have to get through. With one life. God damn! Good lordy god. Aaron, this is the I believe in you song. I believe in you today. I'm in the process of believing in you. Dan, this is the I think you're full of shit song. I think you're full of shit. There's really no need for that kind of language. Dan, this is the shut the fuck up and let me beat this guy song. The da 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 da. Fuck. Looks like believing in me really paid off, Dan. Ha 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 You fucking died. <laughs> oh fuck. Fuck! Woof. That looks good on the capture. Just one giant fucking block of hate. This is so fucking stupid hard. Yeah, why why do it, man? Aren't there like many other options for the last two shines? I don't know. I just feel like doing it. Alright. I am magic Koopa. I am super cheap, super cheap. I am fucking fuck this. <laughs> fuck this. Okay. This is such bullshit, man. We are at fuck. Oh, game over. Whoa! Yeah, I ran out of lives. Haven't seen that in a long time. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen it in this game. Did I do everything in this fuck? Well, fuck you then! You know what? Just fuck you! Alright. What fucking missions haven't I done? It's fucking 21 stars left. Is that- is that all I need? I just need two stars. You two. Two fucking stars and that's it to complete my- um. <laughs> <laughs> two stars, baby. I'll go to Bowser. I'll just go straight to Bowser. Fuck it. I'm not getting a hundred stars. What, but- no, you can't do that. Whatever, fuck it. Like, you, you, you've come so far, you should at least get triple digits. But in the end, it didn't even matter. That is true, uh, fucking Chester Bennington, but I just, I think it's time. I think we owe it to our, our peoples. You know what, you fucking pink-ass motherfucker? I'm gonna punch you right in the star face. Just boom, and then your nose will- Aw. Did he dance with me? I guess you're all right, though. <laughs> Do you want to go to the location of our sp of your special one? Of your special one? Yeah. Um, Just call her your girlfriend, Jesus. Yeah, seriously. Fucking stop being such a pussy and just own up to it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know. I just uh, do her plumbing and I save her every now and then. Uh, oh, she's God, your, I'm sorry, your, Mario. She's your fucking girlfriend, bro. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, own, own yeah but we never kiss and uh... Wait, are you- are you going for the end now? Yeah. Yay! I told you. We're done with this shit. Holy fuck. I mean, <laughs> this quest is at- oh, God. Dude, it's a spaceship! Oh, God damn. It just goes <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Whoa, damn, look at it go. You can think of this space egg as my ovaries shooting towards babyhood. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it looks like a giant space dick, but... It does that too. It, whoa, damn. 
what the fuck is up with this shit? Oh, she's it's like, like Bowser's ships and yeah. stuff. She's like, I don't give a fuck about your fleet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck. Yeah. All the all of his Koopa kids are like, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> those are just like, those are just like the defense team. They don't even attack. <laughs> they're, yeah. just, they're just there to be like, oh, there's somebody coming. <laughs> <laughs> just, the tears. Oh, that's what I wanted to tell you earlier, off camera. Oh yeah. For years, um, before I ever got a smartphone or anything like that, my um, my ringtone was <laughs> a recorded clip of me going. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> it just like I would forget about it all the time, and then I'd be like online at Starbucks, and that shit would go off, and people were like, "What the fuck is happening?" And I'm like, "I'm just gonna let this ring out because I don't want to pull this out of my backpack and let people know." Sorry, I got I gotta take this. Yeah. Mama says this fight isn't just for us. Mama said, "Knock you out." <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Whatever you don't do, don't fail. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. for the worldly advice. Yeah. You're like, by the way, I have 98 stars, so, uh, maybe I'll just fucking jam you assholes into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and then- oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, the spotlight has its own gravity. Ooh, that's cool. Whoa! Uh. You gotta watch out for the dry bones. See, I'm a- I- I've been reading up on Mario, and, uh, I'm actually quite the aficionado now. Really? Yeah, um, I read a couple, like, wiki articles. Uh-huh. Uh, about, like, Mario and Mario's, like, very deep backstory. Go on. Um, and, uh, there's a lot of stuff that you don't know about Mario. D why don't you tell me? Uh... God, if there was only a show about stuff I didn't know about gaming, posed in a question format, like, did you know about this thing regarding gaming? I don't know, <laughs> that title could probably be truncated, <laughs> but, like, th that would be cool, right, if that was real? Yeah, I guess. Talking about did you know gaming and oh God damn it don't patronize me anyway here's some sweet facts I learned about Mario oh, number yeah. one tell me oh. he never ever eats avocado he's actually allergic did you know that I did not know that okay. is that real no it's true how do you know that because he's number two <laughs> it was on the wiki okay number two Mario his actual name is. Regis. That is... Uh, I'm almost positive that's not correct. And... That is neither actual or factual. He was- he was supposed to be the host of Regis and Kelly. Uh-huh. Or whatever the first one was. Regis and Kathy Lee. Regis and Kathy Lee. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't do it because he had to do Mario 3. So they hired a guy who- his name wasn't Regis, but they called him Regis. You mean Regis Philbin? Yeah. His name is Regis. No, it's not. Oh, okay. I'm... His... It's... God fucking fuck. Oh, 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 Jesus! His name is Clarence? It, Clarence Philbin? No. What the fuck? What? Why would his real last name be real? <laughs> no shit. His right. last name is... Flarence. <laughs> Clarence Flarence? <laughs> <laughs> Professor, <laughs> Clarence Ferrance, actual factual. Can you confirm or deny this is true? Hmm. <laughs> And he's like, of course I can, of course! <laughs> Let me adjust my glaces. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah. Whoa, okay. Fuck yeah, check that out, I got a fucking coin now. What the fuck have we been talking about for the last six minutes? Fact number three. Okay. Mario... Uh-huh. ...has six fingers on each hand. That is not true. They coined... ...the new finger... ...as a sporp. <laughs> sporp. So, uh, pinky, ring, middle, index, thumb, spormf? Yeah, spormf. <laughs> Sp it's like a double thumb, and it has four <laughs> points of articulation. <laughs> it's really hard to make into a toy. It's disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. And I, and I am speaking as someone who knows a little something about disgusting thumbs. Yeah, and it's weird, because it actually is less useful with that extra point of articulation. <laughs> You can do nothing with your spormf. There's no fucking. You can't even like plug a hole with your spormf. Yeah. There's way too many little crickles. Yeah. Unless the hole happens to be articulated in such a way that it fits perfectly with your spormf joints. Like a duck vagina. Whoa. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> but waiting my whole life to make a Whoa, duck vagina okay. reference. Shit. Boy, this is hard. 
Can you do this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ye of little faith. I. <laughs> Sorry, I've been sitting here for two and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's cold blooded. <laughs> Sorry. You're a fucking man eater, bro. Oh. Whoa, here I come. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch out, boy. Whoa! Oh, I'll chew you up. That's a Hall and Oates reference, kids. <laughs> Get a, into that gravity. That's my favorite cereal. Hall and Oates. <laughs> wow, you can really taste the hall. <laughs> Well, I was thinking more like, it's like a trucker-themed cereal. Oh, damn. Haul on oats! <laughs> <laughs> oh, H-A-U- I'll dump a load right in your bowl! H-A-U-L-I-N yeah. apostrophe oats. Yeah. Yeah. Haul on oats. We gotta get these oats to Nebraska by 3 a.m. <laughs> People are gonna need their breakfast. <laughs> That's the fucking mascot. <laughs> it's just like a really- Just like a really fat trucker. He's like really responsible, but he somehow always gets in a situation where like he's got bad luck and he's running late. God damn it, I need to haul these oats across state lines. <laughs> I didn't expect it to snow in Florida. Yeah, that blowy I got at the truck stop lasted much longer than anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> it's hauling oats. <laughs> Part of a complete breakfast. <laughs> Whoa. And the whore looks up from like her dick and she's like, <laughs> now with more fiber. <laughs> oh damn it. Oh, god damn it, this is really hard. I know, it looks difficult. It's hard. Just like these hollow notes <laughs> before splashed with milk. <laughs> They'll stay crunchy for minutes. We are in a silly mood today. You might want to start thinking about going for that one up, man. Or that one man up. <laughs> there. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Whew. I think I got the message. Okay, cool. Mario fact number four. Okay. Mario... is allergic... Uh-huh. ...to pretzel debris. What is... <laughs> oh, shit, that Damn. killed me immediately. Yeah, straight up. You know when you- when you know when you eat pretzels? Oh, yeah. And they're delicious. But then, when you reach to the bottom of the bag, it's like dust. He's allergic to that dust. Yeah. So when it gets- when it starts getting to the bottom of the bag, he has to like, call somebody up. You know what my favorite move of Ross's is? What's that? When he like, uh, goes to the restroom, and then you don't hear the sink being used after, uh, after he leaves the washroom, and then the next thing you see is his hand fucking way deep in the bag of community pretzels. <laughs> That's my personal favorite, Ross. I'm calling you out in front of the world, so maybe you'll stop. Oh, man. Please, wash your hands. Yeah, he's got that horrible reputation of, like, like the, f the whole fruit roll-up debacle. We can all hear when the sink isn't being used, man. <laughs> we can all hear it. No, he took a shower that morning. So yeah, I took a shower. <laughs> My hands were clean like fucking seven hours ago. <laughs> What's the problem? Hi, baby Bowser. Oh, looking for Princess Peach. Too bad, because she's with me. And <laughs> she's like, I'm right fucking here! <laughs> yeah, like, Too bad, you'll never find her. He's like, I Woo. found her. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, hey, son. What's up? Uh, nice, nice hey. boat. This galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire with peach by my side. It will last forever. Oh, another- so this is Bowser fact number one. Okay. Uh, he was actually supposed to play Star-Lord in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. This might not be real. But, uh, Chris Pratt, um, got him sick. So, really? so Chris Pratt sabotaged Bowser. That is a fucking rookie move, Chris Pratt. In order to get the role of Star-Lord. Un it's, it's, unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Everyone tweet Chris Pratt and chastise him, please, <laughs> for stealing Bowser's role of Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, I gotta say- I, That's a franchise now. Th that could have taken care of Bowser for life. As much as that's a dick move. Mm -hmm. I respect it. I do think that Chris Pratt makes a better Star-Lord. Yeah, actually, you'll also want to ask Chris Pratt if he wants to come on Game Grumps, because we are enormous fans. Yeah, well, yes. A hundred percent. I mean, I don't wanna- I don't wanna force the issue or anything. Right. But, uh, I would literally cream my jeans. Yeah, yeah. Um... I would Chris shat myself. <laughs> <laughs> Um, if he came on the if we if he came on the show, that would afford me the opportunity 
for me to tell the story of him coming on the show. Right. And then I could use this term. Mm -hmm. He came on the show and well, Chris prattled on. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's really about good. About some stuff that I was interested in. Yeah. Yeah. Ha! Oh, <laughs> look at that. Come here, you fuck. You fucking Bowser, fuck! You fucking giant turtle dinosaur, fuck! <laughs> you fucking you Mario. Freak. You're a freak! <laughs> Do you think Mario's just like at the point where he's just like, fucking you fuck! You fuck! <laughs> yeah, I think he actually is. Stop fucking around, Bowser, you fucking asshole! Yeah. It's been a fucking years! He just finally plunges a machete right into his heart. <laughs> and he's just like, ah! It's been 30 fucking years, my the Bowser! Stop fucking around! It has been 30 years. Yeah. yeah wow. That's pretty fucking crazy, isn't it? That is crazy. Oh, he's trying to bust the, the capsules. Yes. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yes. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Stay, away, stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. What if I'm Chipotle's like, burritos were, <laughs> were like fuck. $1? And then the guacamole was like $7, and they're like, that's how they get you. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, you oh, can't man. resist the guac! All the way fucking back here? Yeah, but listen, man, I can fucking do it. Have you seen me play video games before? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling that Lisa Frank, like, you you are really crushing it this time. <laughs> I'm very impressed. I'm talking about that puss. Yup. Talking about chest hair. Talking about crazy cool medallions. Oh, <laughs> gotcha, oh. yeah. I got you, motherfucker! I got you, you motherfucker! Fuck you, Bowser, you fucking motherfucker! Aaron, you're scaring me. I'm gonna fucking stab you in the fucking face. I'm gonna watch your life drain out from your eyes as I fucking stab you in the gut. <laughs> with your scared look on your face. I don't care, you deserve it! <laughs> <laughs> you had a gummy bitch! <laughs> <laughs> You've been stealing princesses for so long, you fucking deserve to get stabbed! <laughs> Wow. I don't care, you got a son! I don't care! <laughs> Excuse me, stewardess. I speak jive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness you're here. Do people fucking still quote Airplane? Do, do, do you think the kids know about that movie? Air yeah, I'm, I think people who are interested in comedy are. It's fucking hysterical. But it's so simple and so do Oh, dude, did you just beat Bowser? Is he's, he like perma dead? He's like falling into the sun right now. But will d is he gonna live? Oh my god! Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's sizzle, uh... sizzle, sizzle. Yeah. Well, I wanted to stab what him. What now, about bitch? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you! <laughs> oh he's no! He's like rips off his shirt. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Bowser, you fucking son of a bitch! Damn! Look at the size of that shine. That's a star. Star. That a shiny star! 99. One away from 100. Yeah. You almost fucking did it. Dude, that's only how many red balloons I need. What does that mean? 99 red balloons. Oh, there you go. 99 Salif balloons. Something, something, German song. Sprachen, Dachen, Blicken, Bluch. <laughs> something, something, German song. <laughs> I can't believe that was like a number one hit in America, and burp, it's, burp, it's burp, all in burp, German. Burp. Well, there's an English version. Well, yeah, it's 99 red balloons, but it it's called 99 Luft balloons. But oh, there's this an is, English version. This is quite nice. Isn't there? I don't think so. I feel like there are. There is. Maybe yeah, there's right. totally an English version. Okay, we can. I've heard it. We can watch it. We'll we'll listen to it together later. Let's just enjoy this moment because it took us fucking like 80 something episodes to get here. Neun und neunzig. You just beat Mario Galaxy, Aaron. No, I didn't. You didn't? Well, there's the. Oh, god damn Spoilers. it. Spoilers. God damn it. Is this gonna be another fucking 3D world situation? Or is it oh, god. No. Only 80 more levels to go. Yeah, he just shits out like five more levels. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Here's more levels for you, Mario. Mm, for you. Oh, jeez. You'd think I'd be able to eat a fucking plumber. <laughs> <laughs> he just vomits over the side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's yeah. kind of sad. 
Yeah. Why you gotta humanize Bowser? Yeah, right? My hopes, my dreams. Uh, I only wanted my father's love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. him! Yeah. Right? <laughs> Everything is well. Oh, okay. Jesus. Yeah, wow. Mario! Mario, what are you doing? <laughs> In space, no one can hear me look up your dress! <laughs> <laughs> wow, lucky break that they were the only things expelled from the black hole. Oh. <laughs> You're fucked! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, <See asshole>. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is goodbye! <laughs> yeah, he just like pulls off Mario's mustache as Mario falls away into the black hole. <laughs> oh like, shit! I always wanted one of these! <laughs> Oh, look, they're yeah. saving everybody from Black Hole or something. Nice! It's with the power of magic and love and- or some shit. And just deus ex machina. Holy uh, shit, that's damn. fucking, like, visually yeah, right. incredible. <laughs> Isn't that what it looks like? When, like, a black hole does something? Yeah, probably like, just like that. It just looks like familiar imagery. <laughs> but there's no sound in space. So it's probably just like they added it in post. Yeah, space post. When they were filming, it wasn't. It didn't have any sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You're fucking huge. Yeah. Uh, listen. Um, <laughs> about wanting to date. Uh, do you get baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. It's not how it works. Except she's like, Do you hear these newborn stars? He's got like a crazy huge. Do you hear these newborn stars? When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter around the cosmos. Mmm, funny joke. <laughs> I was gonna say, that sounds familiar. Eventually, eventually that stardust reformed to create a new star. And so the cycle of life continues. Um, okay! Yeah. Am I dead? <laughs> but the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. Pizza? <laughs> so, you'll see. You'll have all the time to watch galaxies now that you're dead. He's like, what? <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Where the fuck is Peach? <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, don't worry. She survived. <laughs> what? <laughs> How are you not getting that you're dead, Mario? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, look at him. Yeah. Mario, terrible news. You were attacked by one of the brain-sucking butterflies that have <laughs> terrorized our countryside. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, what the fuck, killer whale? Take it easy, Shamu. That was terrifying. <laughs> there, was, there was a guy at Nintendo whose job was to make that yeah. one killer whale. What am I doing here? <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> oh, Baby Bowser is there, and everybody's happy? I guess so. He, like, he did the worst ever. Out of anyone. That'd be like if somebody just, like, blew up New York, and then, like, they rebuilt New York, and then the guy who blew up New York was, like, dancing on a skyscraper, like, Yeah, we did it! We rebuilt New York! That's a really solid point. Oh, good, you're here, too. This is awkward. Oh, jeez. Oh, but Peach, uh, I uh, thought you said you'd call me, and she's like, Ah, ah, and Mario's <laughs> like, what the heck is going what? on? What? <laughs> 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 Bridge, oh, no, I have these texts, look, <laughs> he's just like showing his phone and it's like, Oh yeah, what the fuck you, man? <laughs> and then he's, he's like, see, what the hell is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> welcome, welcome, new galaxy! Yay! He seems very unconcerned that Bowser's right the fuck next to him. That's my first impulse. Oh, is this a whole new galaxy game Wait, to play? what? No way. You are Mr. Gay. You, <laughs> thank you for noticing. Oh, we did it. We beat. Super Yay, Mario Aaron! Galaxy. You did it. Great fucking job. Nah, it wasn't that great. <laughs> well, you, you did it. A child could beat this game, <laughs> and uh, probably faster. Oh, I've never seen Yoshiaki's name written before. Yoshiaki? Yeah, I like it. What are you talking about? 
Like, you, you've mentioned his name before, but I've never seen it in print and it just feels different. I'm, and Ikaku, too. I've never said Yoshiaki in my life. Oh, I was thinking of Michio Kaku. Damn it. <laughs> you see, because matter, matter. Ma and magnets. Time travel is actually <laughs> real, and we can totally do it. <laughs> what's, what's your favorite hashtag for your favorite Japanese food? Oh, at sushi. <laughs> Fun fact about Mario number five. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, da. Uh, he has three. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, these names are amazing. <laughs> fuck you, da. <laughs> Actually, that could be fuck you, da. Dan Avedon. Oh, yeah. Mario actually has three nipples. Really? Yeah. Just like Ross. Yeah, but a real nipple. Oh. Not like a little dot that he says is a nipple. Yeah, Ross really, really pushes hard to convince everyone he's got more nips than he does. Yeah. But we know the truth, bro. Thank Entertaining. You so much for playing my game. Oh, you're welcome, Charles. Uh, thank you so much for playing my fucking game, you piece of shit. Please don't play again. Bowser's are dead, please. Yeah. Let it keep that way. Let sleeping dogs lie, you piece oh, of shit. Shit, god damn it. Hey, thanks for joining us on this trip, uh, everybody. This, this was this, this was a nice, fun trip. Yeah, it was great. I, I had a good time. I really loved it. Dan. Yeah, baby. We all had a great... <laughs> I'm, I'm high as shit, bro. Uh... <laughs> for, <laughs> what was it? Like, Christ is Lord, 420 blaze it. More like 420 praise it. <laughs> Yay. I get high on Jesus. Uh -huh. Alright, so please, please look down at your feet. <laughs> they're like, they're right. like lizard feet, and you're like, ah! <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. She's like, Play this game forever, please. Here's more shit to do. Wait, are you serious? Oh, yeah. I need, I need 20 more. You do not. If I get to 120, then I get a new fucking world? You beat the game, brother. It's time for us to move on with our lives. All right, next time on Game Rose. Okay, something completely different. But hooray, we did it. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We really love you. Thank you. I love you as well. I Dan usually says it, like, really nice, and then I say it, like, sort of jokingly, but I mean it just as much. He does. And I love you, Aaron. I love you, too. Aw. I know you meant it. I love you, hoo <laughs> hoo.